jazz hands going. Come on, jazz hands. Let's get those jazz hands going, baby faces. Ooh, check it out. Baby faces doing dual wielding jazz hands. And Rob Mills, <laughs> he's jazz handing it up with uh with a with some electricity. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. We are live. Welcome back to the Who Move My Freedom podcast. Hashtag WMMF podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Hank Strange. You're coming live from the Strange Media Studios, Gainesville. This is episode 307, and uh, it's entitled Repeal Gun Control in Florida, damn it. Repeal it. You know, it can be repealed, and we're going to talk about that. We've got someone here in Florida that actually has um, what the Egyptians refer to first as cojones. Seriously, I'm, I'm proud to hear this. Yes, very good news. Um, shout out to everyone that's joining us. Hopefully, I don't know, is our audio, our audio, let me know if there's any issues with the audio. Does it sound good to you guys? Sounds good to me. All right, good, good, good. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be talking about, that, that, other things. We've got uh, Babyface P, there he goes. He's back in so, the building. Hide the women and the children. Oh God, Babyface. yeah. Babyface P is here. <laughs> and look, <laughs> Patrick, check this out. Look, we got the cock of the hill. Right here, Rod Mills. <laughs> <laughs> Rod is also here. It looks like Rod. Rod, did you upgrade your camera? Is this for? Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, is this for internet sex purposes that you upgraded this camera? What's going uh, on? Why? No, That's the no. only reason you upgrade a camera. <laughs> no, I, I got tired of y'all picking at me on my camera, so I went and bought one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I need to do that at some point because mine is still. I could probably go. I'm I'm at seven twenty. I can go ten eighty. Oh, okay. And by the way, Kathleen, music lover, um, says hands up, legs spread. Woo. Ooh, nice, nice one. Put that on a hashtag. No, none of you guys. Total. All right, silence. I'm reading Tango Total Hundreds. Is, no. It went straight for me, so I didn't. No one, no one heard what I said. <laughs> no, I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> I was pulling a Hank and reading the comments. <laughs> no one heard what I said. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through here and uh, shout out everyone as quick as I can here before we get into stuff. Uh, Chris, Christopher Williams, Armament and Axes, John O'Neill. Uh, Jade Groove, Vanessa Kitty, Richard Hughes, shout out to all those people. Please hit the thumbs ups, guys. Hit the thumbs. I appreciate it. Also, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Then ring the bell. That's how you get notified. Um, you know, we got where we just clicked over 300,000 views on this channel. So that's, to me, wow. that's a pretty big deal. I yeah. Yeah. 300,000 views. We clicked over on the channel. Right now, every 30 days, people watch 5,000 hours of programming here. That's wow. pretty impressive, actually, considering, pretty cool. considering when you first started, I said you should only do it like one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it is good. It's all thanks to the folks who are out there who are watching right now, who are tuning in. Thank you. We appreciate it. I'm going to encourage everyone to smash the thumbs ups and uh, share <laughs> like, this. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, guys. Like, like, share. Yeah, smash yeah. that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs yeah, up. Ring absolutely. that notification bell. Become part yeah. of it. Check <laughs> out Rod has that. Put that up again. That's a stocking right there. Tactical stocking. Tactical stocking, go. baby. From LA yeah. Police Gear. Yeah. I think I can hear some. A some, um, little some bit of reverb. reverb coming from yeah. from Rod, I think. Is that Rod? You got to turn something down. Turn down I don't know where. Volume. I don't know what it's picking up, though, because he's got headphones going. Yeah. It's picking up something. Turn your volume down or something like that. Okay, so let's see. Um, where was I? Uh, I was doing shout outs. David Serpa. Let's see. Hey, David Serpa. You want to do so I can try it? What? Uh, Timberwolf. Oh, that's even worse now. Mm -hmm. did, did Rod just use them? Because now I can hear myself in my own ear. Yeah, Rod. What are you up to? <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. Well, I changed my microphone. Oh, that's not good. You just changed it. Yeah, just saying. Oh, it's, it's echoing worse, real right. bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. No, no, it's back. It's back. back. Oh, um, damn it. What about now? Same. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, anyway, sorry. Lone, sorry. Lone Wolf uh, released a Glock large frame lower, so you can build a Glock 20 out of it, and it'll be straight instead of having the hump. So, Hank, you got to get one so I can try it. Okay, from Lone Wolf. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's better. I don't know what yeah, Roger. Yeah, it's whatever. 
He, he probably can't hear us. Oh. Oh, you're just, you're just messing around with every setting, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you're in a stadium. <laughs> this is okay, when wait. I, I reach across the internet and smack someone. But I think he's good now. Whoop. Reach across. Good now. I think, is it? I don't know. I hope uh, so. We'll find out. Don't right. touch anything, Rod. <laughs> I had it. I, I had it on studio. So. Oh, okay. That's probably oh why. Gosh. Yeah, I think it's good now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> cock of the hill, Rod Mills. <laughs> was that, did it sound like I was in a stadium? It was like super echoey. Yeah, we're not doing football here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put the football down. Put the football hey, down. See, that's, that's what happens when you get a new computer, man. You know, you gotta yeah. work out the bugs in it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me try. Let me try to finish this. Uh, the IRC bully, I guess. LRC bully. Uh, Michael Bender, Vanessa Kitty. I think I said Archangel. Uh, Rob Avis, Knife, Jay Brennan. Let's see who else we got here. Um, Jay, bro, I'm trying to go through and see who, everyone that we have here in the chat that I have. James Lawson, uh, Brian Wyatt, also here. Robert McNeely. It, this is, I Black. take this back. This is what we should do, Hank. Okay. We should build one of these. I'm going to put it in chat for you. Okay. Black Sword Shinobi. I'll check it out here in a second. Uh, DCG44S, Chris Bullis. Uh, Pixamite is here as well. And uh, let's see who else we got. Special K. Special K is here. Shout out to everyone coming in. The RTS guys here. Aries Firearms is here. Um, David Cardinal as well. Uh, I think I said Kathleen Music Lover because Kathleen Music Lover had a good thing in the beginning, but I don't know. I have to go back. I have to try to find it. Maybe I'll, I'll <laughs> find it. Somebody said it. Yeah, Psycho316 also is here. Boss Hogs here. Tango Hunter says, Babyface, I bought a P365 and I'm having issues with the slide not locking back. Yeah. On the last round, did you so have the, that issue? The only time I had issues with that for me is when I don't check where my thumb is. Because um, I have a tendency to ride the, the slide release with my thumb and then it won't walk back. But if I'm careful, I haven't had any issues. So, Okay. Okay. Uh, tacos and French fries. Joe Friday, also here. Uh, Mort Business says, Woo, finally able to catch it live. Ha! How, do you, how, how do you like us now, live? <laughs> is it more awesome more like 3d is this is this freaking you, you can't, out <laughs> you can't skip the bs that's the problem <laughs> you're stuck with us uh mr fnh says comments i don't know <laughs> don't know what that means uh 904 outdoors is here uh 904 says don't forget 904 hank when is my ride in the audi uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 904. If I give Steve a date, he will show up. <laughs> 904. If you're if, if you're down here in Jacksonville, I'll drive you in my um my BMW. Oh, you can take a ride in the Mustang, but it's nothing too special. <laughs> That's nice. It's still a nice Mustang. I like my car. I, I need to throw. I need to throw that video. You and I did a long oh, video in the Mustang. <laughs> We're talking about video. this Monday night, where it's just. There's so much content that God, it's gonna take us forever to. Yeah, and that video's uh, about it. I think I'm just gonna take it and throw it up. We just put it up because we just talk bullshit for like an hour driving yeah. around. I'm gonna throw that up on Stranger Palooza. So if you guys don't know, we have and a separate channel for car stuff. There, so for anybody that if if that does go up, for anybody that watches it, it's shameful that I was confused. Walter at the beginning, we're sitting there and he's looking at it. And he goes, "What's the displacement?" And I was like, "Like." I had no idea what to tell him, and it's it's <laughs> totally it's okay. shameful that I couldn't just say, "Oh, it's a two point three liter." I mm. was like, "A oh, oh, dis displacement." I don't know what you. It was it was very shameful. So yeah, it's a good conversation. So, Walter was in there. I've forgotten about this whole conversation. Yeah, he he looked at it at the beginning. We walked around it, and then. Oh, okay, I just remember me having a tirade, something about electric cars. Yeah, we. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. It's it, it, uh, gasoline engines are more efficient than pumping electricity down a power line, and I think we talk about that a lot. So, <laughs> so you know, it's good. don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Yeah, you won't yeah. Get someone views if you tell everyone everything that's going to happen. Lola's not here, by the way. If it's if we seem a little off the railsy, oh yeah, she can't keep us on track. She's yeah, not, no, we, it is true free for all Wednesday. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. probably she had a meeting. I don't know if she's out of that meeting. She might be listening to us in the car. Uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on with Lola? But 
Um, November 750 Williams out there flopping garbage. I see as well. Let's see Jay Brennan, Rodney Brady, Eric Hammond, all those people out there. Please do hit the thumbs up. So let's see who else. I was trying to find the what Kathleen Music Lover said earlier because I thought it was great. You guys missed it. Just... Somebody, somebody reiterated it up here. Hold on. Yeah. Hashtag hands up, leg spread. There you go. Hashtag legs up. <laughs> yeah. Kathleen says she's a. You got. You, you know. You got to look out for the uh, female fans because I, I don't have that many. Hashtag uh, boom. Oh, is, oh, is that a little tiny? That? Oh, Hank, yours is supposed to be at, over there today. Oh, there you go. Look at check that out. <laughs> Rod it. Mills, he's official now. Rocking this, the ATI mini. This was my uh, Christmas Thanks. gift from Hank and uh, Lola. So. Yeah, I got one of those. Let's see, right here. Oh, okay, there okay. There you go. There you go. You know, it, it was amazing while I was putting it together. I put it together just as I would put together a real AR-15. Right. And, and I'm like, oh damn! Even the the um, what's this called right here? The uh, the ring for yeah. the ring. Yeah. Delta ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it is it goes functions, in the same way. Functions like yeah, that's cool, ring, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> Got to squeeze it. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, this thing works the same way. Yes. I didn't realize the um the uh the um the dust cover works. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, it's know? like a real AR. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, shout outs to ATI outdoors. Um yeah, that, shout, shout out to ATI. Yeah. Thank Adam you guys. Says he has, uh, he has an AK forty seven ATI mini. Yeah. That's one that I don't have that I should I should go the buy. Forty seven? Yeah, because you know me, I love AKs. Yeah. I should get well, myself. There's also yeah. the fifty. There's also the fifty. This, this sits on my my two models right now. They sit on my desk, twenty four seven. Is yep. my fifty? Oh yeah, you got the model. Oh, my Mustang. Oh, hey, let me tell you, hey, sweet Pat Patrick. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how I like my thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your car sitting on your desk? <laughs> yeah, there you oh, go. Oh boy, <laughs> BMW baby. Oh my gosh, where's mine? Where's mine? Oh, hold on one second. I'm feeling like uh, a little oh, bit, of, a little bit of size right. envy, a little bit of oh, size yeah. envy. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a little Damn, tiny. That, go bot. <laughs> check it out. Check it out right there. <laughs> oh yeah. man, that's cool. Yeah. I also have this one that I found actually from Hot Wheels that I refuse, Patrick. This is the LMS version. That's of the one that you had to go like Lola had to go track down somewhere. Yeah, she had to order these. <laughs> Especially, I refuse to, uh, you know, boys and their toys. Oh, Big Dick so. Willie's asking, are they going to make different kind of guns for the minis? We got to see a secret oh, preview yeah, yep. of one coming out, and it's going to be awesome. But yeah, I can't okay. say. Yeah, don't <laughs> spill the beans. I know, them. I know. They're probably going to lose hopefully. all ATI backing. Oh, God, yeah. The ATI would kill me. Yes, then we'll be homeless. But they have one coming out, and it's really cool. You guys should get excited. Yes, I will have one of those on my desk. Yeah, I can say without saying what it is, I think people are probably going to be really, really excited about that, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I think it's coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming up for Shot Show or after I hope Shot they, Show. Yeah, I hope they have it by Shot Show. Yeah. When is I, that? That's coming up, what, two weeks or something? Yeah, Shot Show is in about two weeks. Jesus. Uh, yeah, and we're going to do some talking about it. I have to check with Mike from ATI and see if he's coming on. But, you know, if you guys need anything from ATI, be sure to check them out, Patrick. Can you check? I think they still. I don't know if they still have thirty percent off on the on the uh, on the website, but they usually it's either twenty, twenty five, something like that. They've got uh, a good percentage off on the website. You guys could check that out. And uh, before I get deep into this, look, check this out. Oh, you guys want to? You guys want Harry's deal. holsters right there? Harry's holsters. And Harry's if you guys want to get anything from Harry's holsters, the code is Hank Strange. It gets you ten percent off. Babyface uses Harry's holster, so do I. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right here. Mine is, uh, I think mine's called Neptune Kydex. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's super cool looking. Yes. Cool. Yes. Uh, uh, Steve just texted me. He wants a date. We're going to have to. After <laughs> Shot Show, Steve. After <laughs> Shot Show. After Shot Show. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Steve is a car guy, so, you know. I understand that. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. So I said Harry's holsters. This is the first time we're getting them up here in the banner. Uh, Harrison is coming on sometime, so uh, we'll see what's going on there. Uh, what happened? Nothing. Oh, someone said I was shut down or something like that. I don't know what that's about. Um, DC2 Megaboo said something. I think we're – are we still on? I hope we're still okay. on the air. 
It says we're live, and then Miss Mister yeah. FNH has lost the stream. Is it just me? Oh, did we get kicked off the stream? We'll find out. Yeah, let us know if we're here. If you're looking at the stream currently, let us know if we're on the stream or not on the stream. Hopefully, it's only stream <laughs> yeah. stopped for a second. Okay, still on. We're good. okay. Cool. We're still here. <laughs> no, okay. So we had a we had a panic. Well, this, for anybody <laughs> that's anybody that's not a like, super long time fan, this yeah. happened to us before where we were in the middle of talking about politics and our stream just, it just got cut. Right. <laughs> and Hank was, was gone for like, what, a month? Yes. <laughs> that so one channel I, was down for a month. <laughs> yeah. I could see, I could see people dropping out there. So if you're coming back in, please make sure you thumbs up, make sure you share it and all that kind of stuff. That's that's what goes on here with- a little uh, fear in you when that happens. Yeah, that's what goes on here with YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I see lots of people saying that we're still here good yeah, that's awesome <laughs> yeah there's lots of one of the things we want to talk about today other than what's going to happen or what's happening here in florida is shot show so i want to talk about that people can like from now all the way up till um, next wednesday we'll be here doing the show and of course then we're going to um end the show a little bit early so we can get ready to leave but you guys can let us know what you're interested in shot show what things that are coming out that have got you all excited you know um, that's a good thing what say that again juice is flowing yeah, yeah. juice is flowing so um we were just talking about that uh who wants to go well, you know rod mills you're the guest of honor and by okay. the way rod babyface make sure you smash the thumbs ups too but rod <laughs> what are you what are you looking forward to for uh with uh shot show shot show yes sir um you know i just want to see what type of new um rifles uh that they have uh i always look forward to you when you go to your range day out there. Uh, so that okay. way, I, I know you usually give uh, some pretty good um, information as far as, um, you know, the uh, the new and what's up and coming. So I always want to see, you know, I'll, I'll, I, you between you and maybe um, Mr. Guns and Gear, I usually look at you guys and kind of determine, um, you know, what, what I might want to see if I go shopping or if I, you know, if, I'm not going to the NRA this year, but, you know, usually I'll look at what you guys did in uh, SHOT Show, and then I'll go ahead and look for it in, at the uh, NRA show. But last year, I can tell you this, the uh, P365, that was the main one that I, I was looking for. And they SIG that, um, what is it, the SIG, uh, the little short bear rifle? Yeah. Oh, the MPX. Uh, yeah. yeah, the MPX. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. There's a new one. What was what was it called, Patrick? The oh god, not that ugly one. I can't remember the name of that new Sig now. The like the little baby baby Sig. I'm gonna have to go look. Yeah. It up. Yeah. I don't it's... like his. You don't like that one, Rod? Nah, nah. It's just uh, for it, MPX copy. Mm, yeah. I'm 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 more of a traditionalist. You know, I don't like anything lower than maybe. Uh, a ten and a half. Now I will, I will do like a seven if it has a can on it, you know. But uh, you know, I just don't want it to look like a toy, though. Okay, all right. You know. I understand. I understand. Okay. Yeah. So, did you check out my video on the folding Glock from? Uh, Shot Show I did. Year? Matter of fact, uh, <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> that you said with Patrick it, shaking his head like it's, oh, it's it's a, <laughs> baiting it's a bear. <laughs> It's, it's amazing that you say that because um, Coleon just came out with a video on it and I'm looking at it. I'm like, the whole time I'm thinking about when I told you I hated that thing and I, I, I never liked it. I still don't like that folding block. I, but he did the way he did whip it out and, you know, it did. You know, oh, so you're that's saying a, you that's like a phrase I don't want to hear very yeah. often. <laughs> <You're right, Patrick. laughs> he it out, got me yeah. going. Let's not let that go, Patrick. So you're saying, hold on a second now. You're saying that you like how Coleon Noir whips it out versus how I whip it out. Yeah, he so, likes Coleon Noir whipping yeah. it out better than Hank. Yeah. I thought I whipped it out with a little bit more pizzazz, <laughs> a little razzmatazz, a little dazzle. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I don't, I, I walked in. Go ahead. I walked into that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I know everyone doesn't like that. My like for me, I personally feel my my uh, thing that I'm trying to do is give everyone info. Like I actually put up a comparison video that's inside of that video that's on YouTube. I made a snippet of that and I put that on social media so people can look at me drawing my Glock 43 and then taking that thing from um, from rest resting on a barrel on the range 
opening it up and flipping it out and all that. And I left it open for everyone to comment. I haven't even gone in there and commented, but I know there's a lot of comments and stuff. I'm doing that so that people can see something, think about it. Um, and then also, if, if anyone out there is interested in it, I do have a code that I can get you um, some money off of if you want to buy the uh, the full conceal. Actually, it's a pretty good code, but you're gonna have to hit me up so I can give it to you like um, privately. Oh, okay. So if you want to get the if you want if you want to get it out privately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get the Viper, the CAA Viper, I have a code for that. And then if you want to get um, the uh, M3D itself, I have a code for it. And both of those codes uh, will get you. Let me see. I'll tell you right now. Uh, 150 bucks off. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so not too bad. Yeah. If anyone's <laughs> interested, hit me up and I'll get that to you. What's up? Guys, um, and Patrick, I'm sure you probably got some insight on this. I am now, my my goal for this year is to uh, do a project gun. Uh, my Glock 23 that I have, I'm going to pimp it out. Uh, so hmm. my goal is at least one month, you know, every year, every uh, month of this year, I want to go ahead and get something new on it. What, um, what you and, should do, you should mm -hmm. just, you should just do a polymer 80, like scratch build. I hate polymer 80. Oh, uh, what? I, look, what is the out. matter with you? I, I love the guy. The, uh, the What's the guy I hate that you introduced me to? The guy that, the, the owner? Polymer 80? Um, I could tell you right now. I'm not <laughs> I just got to look it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good, as you, you know. So what, wait, what don't you like about their gun? The, like the grip? Well, I, I, I guess, I'm again, I'm a tradition. I'm old school. I, I, I the Lauren, you're eight, talking about Lauren Kelly. Lauren. Yeah, yeah, Lauren, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, good guy, don't want to, hey, Hey, if, if you guys want to get polymated, that's fine. I just, I'm a traditionalist. I like sticking with the regular Glock, you know, uh, you know, is that a polymated there? No, this is a 19. This is a, this is a, oh, okay. the first pistol I think I ever bought was my uh, original 19. Same okay. with me. So for. I'm going to get a RMR and of course I got to get my slide cut. Uh, yeah. So one, I like to know where uh, is a reputable place other than Glock store. Uh, for me to get my uh, slide cut. And two, when I get the RMR, okay, I'm not really, uh, I'm a novice at the RMR portion of it. And I'm going on Optics Planet and I'm seeing all these different prices for an RMR. They all look the freaking same. Uh, What's the difference besides the, mm, the there's MOA a, on there's a bunch. There's a bunch of difference. You want uh, a RM, I think it's an RM06. RM3, oh, R, okay. It's an O3. Um, so here's the thing. Here's here's a couple of things to this. So everyone's gonna. Okay. Every, uh, so you're asking people to chime in and tell you stuff, right? Well, you guys too. Okay, I, I agree with Gunfather. He says first off, get a nine millimeter barrel. <laughs> oh, so okay. So so first of all, yeah, that's that's my next thing. I will be getting the conversion barrel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I mean, a threaded barrel is always a good thing. I don't know if you're into suppressors or not yet. I was gonna no. say you should by pimping it out. You should start the year by putting paperwork in, and then at the end of the year, it'll be ready. Your your tax stamp will come in. You get your can. Yeah, yeah. Get us a get a suppressor. The Holy. twenty three is what a forty. Yeah, yeah it's, it's forty. 40. So you could do yeah. like your your best bet would be something like this. This is uh, I pimp silencer co because they've treated me very well. Okay, yeah. Silencer so co. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we don't. There are, there are a ton of good brands out there. Yeah, we don't do, have we don't have any kind of relationship with Silencer Co. Just for this is a here. Osprey forty five. If you yeah. do an Osprey forty five, it'll shoot any of the pistol calibers smaller than the forty five. So you can shoot forty five, forty nine. Um, yeah. If you want to shoot lead bullets like twenty two, you could also mm -hmm. do the Octane forty five because this comes apart and you can clean it. So. Like you can shoot okay. 22 through this and and just throw it in the dip and clean it afterwards. Um, but I personally, I like Silencer Co stuff. They treated me yeah. very well over the years. But there's, and there's other people. Um, oh, Liberty, Liberty has some cool Liberty stuff. Liberty is fantastic. My first suppressor was a, actually first gun and the first suppressor for it was a Liberty Mystic. And the Mystic X is a tank of a suppressor. Holy crap, that thing's a yeah. tank. Um, and, and, it's, um, and it's quieter. It's actually has a deeper, quieter tone than the um, os uh, octanes. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and um, I I can, don't get me started. I can talk suppressors all day. Yeah, I think Liberty <laughs> is actually sending us um, a suppressor to test. Ooh. Um, 
very, very shortly here. Let's see. Yeah, the Vector, which is a 22. Oh, so, is that their new one? Yeah. Cool. And 22 will be able to test that. So I, I do think it's, you know, I mean, you know, Godfather. I, I, I agree with Godfather. Get a 9 millimeter uh, <laughs> barrel for it. But get a threaded barrel. I think that's always a good thing. Now, if you want to cut the slide, I would say to you, instead of cutting the slide, why don't you just buy a slide that's already cut? You could do that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I it, could. I mean, yeah. And then you, and got, and then, you don't, then you don't wreck your original slides. You can always, like... I, I hate to. I, I wouldn't cut this one. I would love to put an RMR, but I would hate to wreck my original slide because mm -hmm. once you cut the once you mill it, there's no going back. Um, right. You can always sell an aftermarket slide, and, and those things come and go like crazy. Yeah. And some people, I'm not saying all companies. There's good companies out there doing that. Some people do mess it up, gets crazy. I think first figure out what optic you want to put on there before you even <laughs> do that, because that's going to well, have something to do with it. Well, it's going to be the RMR, but. Okay. Again, what that, going back to my original question, what's the difference in, like, Patrick, you said the 06, right? RM06 is the one that I would recommend for just about everybody. So the typical, the, the different O types are um, the size of the dot and, like, the shape of the dots. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're, and they also have um, LED. So there are three types of RMRs. There's an LED RMR. There's an adjustable LED RMR, and then there's a um, that's an RMR that does uh, it just picks up sunlight and has tritium. Um, so for is me, is that the one with the, with the little, little plastic clear thing? Yeah, yeah, little, yeah, little yeah. plastic top. That's the one that it just yeah. brings in sunlight. Um, to yeah, me, I have one of those. My favorite is the RM06. It's a adjustable LED, so you can manually adjust it on the sides, but mm -hmm. it also auto adjusts. So like I have it sitting on my AK. And I can go from a light room to a dark room, and it'll automatically dim itself and brighten itself. Um, and the battery lasts, I think the battery lasts like a couple of years. So you don't have to take it off the mount very often. OK. Yeah. Aries uh, says you should shoot your iron sights, um, <laughs> which I kind of agree with, except I'll, I'll, I'll say this. As you get old, mm -hmm. you might, you know, some people, it's helpful to have a red dot. So it, I mean, yeah, you don't have to line up. Uh, you don't have to line up iron, so it's. I like it. I think it's cool. Is yeah. it good? To, is it good to get uh with the R bar to get suppressor height sights on it? I don't. I. Ah, uh, so so if you're taking it to war, then I'd say yes. So you have a backup. Mm -hmm. If you're going to war and you're just going to be plinking with it, then probably not. Just use the leave the uh, originals on there. Huh? Yeah, I would just leave the originals. If I were like taken into combat, I would want to have backups just in case. But then again, if you're shooting a pistol in combat, your your sh shit's gone real bad. Yeah. <laughs> like well, also, how many? Bad. I mean, how many Glocks do you have, man? Because I, uh, I got three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can always pimp one out. Yeah. That's kind of like what what yeah, I. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna pimp yeah. this one out. Yeah, but that's not necessarily going to be. I don't know. You might train with it, but I would just have one for like funsies. You can make okay. a. Um, oh God, what's it called? You can make a Roland Special out of it. Uh, Roland Special is the. It's a Glock. I think originally it was a Glock 19, um, with an RMR suppressor height sights and a. Uh, I think it's a KKM threaded barrel and a compensator on the front. Ooh. So overall package, it's the same length as a Glock 34. But mm -hmm. you don't because you don't because you have a red dot. You don't need that longer sight radius, so the red dot makes up for it. Um, and then the the compensator, I thought it was kind of a joke at first, a compensator on a nine mil pistol. But man, it makes it a flat shooting gun. Well, mm -hmm. I have to shoot a friend of mine's, and it just it's like it doesn't move at all. It's really cool. Okay, all right. So there hey, you go. Hopefully, hopefully we answered that. What's well, up? Well, well, one last thing. What uh, okay. grips? I've seen where some people do the stippling. And I've seen some people do the laser stippling, which is better. Do you have a Gen 3 or Gen 4? Uh, 3. Yeah, I so I don't like the 3s as much because of the texture. So stippling is probably a good thing. Um, I hate hand stippling. I think it looks atrocious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's an abortion on a gun. And when the people take like a heating iron and, and dot it, yeah. um, a laser just looks better. But It does. Yeah. yeah, and some people go real crazy with that. So. Anybody, you guys got any uh, particular la uh, laser engraving companies? Uh, I I can't. No, not right of hand. 
Okay, yeah. I can do some research. Yeah, I've, I've never had it done. Okay, yeah. cool. So, I mean, there's there are there are a bunch of folks out there. Probably you're not on uh, you're not on uh, Instagram or anything like that. So, I know mm -hmm. there's a bunch of guys on Instagram if you're into that. Okay, so I want to go to the Florida thing, but someone was asking me about the hanger dais video. Hanger dais. Yeah, so it. that looks like a uh, coat hanger machine gun dias drop in oh, auto sear. Yeah, D -D -I -A -S, drop in auto sear. Yeah. Um, um, I <laughs> I didn't look at that video to be honest with it you. It works. It functions and I I will tell you it works. Mm, yeah, I will just suggest that nobody ever admit that. <laughs> Don't do it. If you, <laughs> if you turn your coat hanger into a drop in auto sear, it's a massive <laughs> felony, but Don't get into that nonsense unless you are it works. Firearms it manufacturer with the proper yeah, the, licensing to do so. So the guy that the guy that put out the video um, is a is a uh, whatever it is an 07 manufacturer. So he, I guess he had to serialize his his coat hanger, his coat hanger to get it to work with a micro laser. Or I, something? I guess I don't I don't know. Um, yeah. But no, it, it it functions. It does function. Yeah. Um, there are other ways of doing that as well. But again, if you're not an 07, I wouldn't be screwing around with that personally. Yeah. I yeah. like my dog. I like buckshot not being shot by the FBI. Yeah. Neck bone. Also, Neck bone, you, yeah. you probably like don't you you probably yeah. like staying out of prison. And yeah, I don't like going to federal prisons. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go for baby face being something else. And, uh, <laughs> three, four, yeah. four, three, four, four. Then it'll be somebody's <laughs> pee in baby face. <laughs> so we don't like really want that. Just, yeah, we don't want that. Okay, listen, let's just go um to this. To this Florida story that uh, we're talking about uh, here, I'll I'll throw up a link that I have. But if you guys, I think I put that in the chat already, so you guys should have seen that. Um, yeah, yeah, and I know that you were trying to. Let me see, what was this thing that Babyface was trying to link earlier? Uh, I might actually buy one for shits and giggles. <laughs> it's a it's the Lone Wolf version of the Glock Twenty One frame. Oh, okay. The Lone All Wolf, right. I guess, makes a. Uh, I think you have one of those frames, don't you? I, I I might somewhere. Uh, yes, so you got too much crap in that house. Yeah, um, I think yeah. Um, I think my brother's. Are you talking about one of the the frames? Yeah, he did he send you one? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so okay, all going right. for the forty five now, basically. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's get into this. Florida bill seeks to repeal post Parkland gun control measures. So there you go. A bill filed Monday aims to repeal gun control measures that were passed in response to the school shooting um, in Parkland, Florida. State Rep Mike Hill, a Republican elected in November, filed the bill that would essentially repeal a number of measures passed into law in March 2018 as part of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Act signed into law. Um, the new bill, HB 175, would remove man a mandatory waiting period to purchase firearms and other handguns, and a provision would raise the age to purchase a rifle from 18 to 21. Which, which, race. which race, which race. So all of that will go away. Uh, it would also seek to repeal provisions that would allow law enforcement to seize firearms from people who may pose a danger to themselves and others. Uh, I'm looking to see if they did anything about the bump stock bans and stuff like that that were included in that. Um, well, I mean, and of course, David Hogg is really mad. So this is a, is he? a great <laughs> bill. Proves that it's a great bill. Is so what do you guys think about, say about it? Um, I don't know, let me see. What did he say? What did, did he David actually have a comment? Uh, yes, there was one here. What is it? Uh, this is effing ridiculous. <laughs> of, course. of course. Yes. Um, the bill is is effing ridiculous. David Who, Hogg. Who's uh who's uh, hitting that uh the repeal? Um. Okay, yeah, we, we so, looked that up. Uh, that what was is, the name? Uh, Bill. We, uh, we, Mike, we Hill, to, Mike Hill. Rep we need Mike to really Hill. support him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And he looks. Like uh, Mike Hill, where did I what, what did I do? With my I wrote his Wikipedia. Yeah, Mike Hill, Florida. He's from Pensacola, I think. Yeah, he looks like a brother. You know, I, he might, I, it's hard to tell. Yeah, <laughs> light, he's light skinned but uh, um, but I, I think it's a good thing. Seems like I'm, he, proud uh, of, I'm proud of somebody's actually standing up for something that we believe in. Jesus. Yeah, and I hope this actually does get some traction. I've been saying that we need to make Florida. The gunshine state again. Um, mm -hmm. I think I actually got Fortune Freedom to make T-shirts, so you will see. You guys will see us probably rocking some T-shirts at some t at some point here. What's it going to say? Here, 
it's going to say make Florida the sunshine go. state again. However, Boom. however, owing to so the that's district, that's coming up, coming up right there. Go ahead. However, owing to the district's strong partisan lean, Hill defeated Lau comfortably, having won fifty eight percent of the vote, which enabled him to become the first legislature's only Black Republican member. So he is. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Boom, and he's from Pensacola. Standing up for shit. Yeah. Yep, from Pensacola. Yeah. So I think that we should we should definitely uh, you know throw some support behind this. Get these. Uh, Get these politicians in Tallahassee to, <laughs> to make this happen. Lynn Holt you know, what, what's happening in Florida sucks. Go ahead. There, Lynn Holt says there should be a bill that, to muzzle my, uh, uh, Marco, Marco Rubio. Rubio. <laughs> yes. I second it. <laughs> yeah, I second it. Um, Marco is not going to stop until he's president, people. You know, for all we know, he might be Ocasio Cortez in disguise. You know, do you God. ever see? Do you ever see this? The two of them at the same time? <laughs> You know, Marco Rubio might be cross dressing, yeah. but except getting yeah, real skinny. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, he's I, the, I like uh, this bill. He, he's the Randy Marsh to to their lord. <laughs> Somebody yeah. will get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't think you would. Somebody will get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think this is good, and this news this news broke today. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of chances it actually has, but I hope that it that um, that it does uh, take hold and that we get something like this. Let us know what you guys think about it. Support this guy. Yeah. If you see him in the streets, tell him he is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Len Holt says the sex change conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Kiaski says South Park. There you go. <laughs> okay. I what is this South reference again? Uh, I don't look at South Park in, that much. <laughs> in South Park, in South Park, Randy Marsh is Lord. The singer Lord is, uh, okay. is Randy Marsh. He he cross dresses as Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the South Park still come on? Yeah, it's they're running on like six Damn. seasons or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. No, and Man. so we put up on uh, on Lord's wiki the other day. Um, uh, like under original Lord's original name or birth name was Randy Marsh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I went and changed her wiki. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, that yeah. I'm sure that uh, that was not liked. <laughs> hey Hank, uh, I was I'm, I'm up here looking at my TV at the uh, Outdoor Channel, and they have your favorite gun on there, man. What's that? Um, and I knew you were gonna say which one. Shit, uh, is it a bull pop? It's, it's the Gal Galil. The Galil. Oh, the Galil. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I agree that that's my favorite gun. I don't know how you oh. came to that conclusion. Well, I know you like bull pups. I know you like bull pups first, but mm -hmm. I remember you talking to Walter one time about the Galil. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not against the Galils at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, if yeah. guys, if you're in in anywhere near a TV. Uh, you know, this is uh, Wednesday is gun day and uh, on the, uh, the outdoor <laughs> channel. So after you tune in with us, you can look at that afterwards. Yes. And uh, make sure you check out Hollywood Weapons, our friend Larry Zanoff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got I look at that as well. Yeah. Are you going to be on there? We don't we don't know. We don't have the outdoor channel, Rod, because we're not like ballers like you. We don't have oh. cable TV. It's like basic cable. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have basic cable, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got yeah. you got bootleg, I'm sure, right? <laughs> nope, we don't have bootleg either. Oh, our bootleg is called YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. Netflix. I thought you were gonna say looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, um, okay, cool. So there's that going on. I think it's a good thing. I hope it gets some traction, please. Uh, politicians here in Florida support this bill. Good we need luck. to repo repeal all this crap that you guys, uh, I don't know, you got drunk or whatever happened to you. Uh, David Hogg came over there and somehow rubbed up on you guys and you lost can, your mind. Can I say something offensive? Will we get cut for that? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> he, he, I don't know. Barry quit being such a bitch and support this. Yeah, absolutely. Get, oh. get up on it. Um, so then also the other thing that was in the news that I saw, I'm trying to pull up this thing about the sheriff here because we're talking about <laughs> we're talking about Parkland. Oh, I'm getting fired. Yeah. So the sheriff is complaining <laughs> that he's going to be fired. Our new governor here in Florida has uh, has taken over. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, secondly, oh, but, uh, this is going to piggyback on that, but I just just so I don't lose my train of thought. Uh, don't forget this. Um, 
the uh, what's her name? The Broward County head of uh, elections. Do you see she went to? Did, did you see any of this about her? No, no. What happened to the election? Within the yeah. last two days or three days, she originally, after everything blew up, decided she was gonna she was gonna retire. She was gonna leave. Yeah, she, she was, was gonna out. leave. Uh -huh. uh, so new governor comes in and says, "Well, you can instead of leaving in six months, you're fired right now. Like, Hell's yeah. Pack up, pack up your shit and go." Yeah. She she t turns around and says, "Well, I'm now I'm not leaving, and I'm opening a lawsuit against the state." To reinstate myself. Oh, uh, yep. When she, um, do we have a thing in Florida that when you open a lawsuit that you lose, you have to pay for it? Oh God, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, my message to her would be, uh, you know, let the doorknob hit oh, you. Good yeah, lord, hide you. somewhere. <laughs> bury your head so we don't ever. Yeah. Have Who said that? Was it? I believe it was uh, the guy from Moving On Up. Good. Uh, what was his name? George Jefferson. George Jefferson. George Jefferson. I think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's where I heard it. Yeah, so. here we go. Former Brenda, former Broward Elections Chief Brenda Snipes fights oust, ouster in federal court. Lawyers for former Broward Elections Chief Brenda Snipes argued in federal court Monday, so this was two days ago, that the embattled supervisor should be reinstated to her position after she was suspended by outgoing Governor Rick Scott in November, alleging that her due process rights were violated because the Senate declined to review her case and that the law under which she was suspended is unconstitutional. Uh, she didn't do her job. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't do my job, I get fired like. Um, oh, OK, she not she not only just didn't do her job. She also committed major crimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she election crimes, oh, election fraud. God. That's a horrible, horrible thing. OK, horrible thing. So, yeah, there's all kinds of craziness going on. Lots of people. I hope the governor just like does lots of firing. Just yeah, just clean clean house. Yeah. Is she, is she elected by the local people? How does that work? Supervisor election. Uh, I don't time. know how. Yeah, she got yeah, local. Yeah, in that oh. county. Certain parts of the state we just need to cut. Yeah, we do have parts of the state that are um, that Shit. are uh, Democrats. Uh, <laughs> Miami, West Palm Beach. Uh, DCG forty four has said this a second time. Tom's custom coatings is does good laser stippling. Okay. Oh, there you go. That was for Rod. Yeah, and and, and Rod, when you get it, uh, when you get it stippled or whatever, um, yeah. let us know. We will send you the dick butt logo. And Safety Harbor Firearms says, "Throw her ass out." Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rod. Yeah, Rod. I gotta send you one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, check this out. Yeah. I got this for Christmas from uh, cool. Arm Mitten Axes. Yeah. Maybe oh. some logo stickers. Look at that. That's very cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, armament. You didn't get me anything, uh, right? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what the I hell? I gotta get one over to you next time. Marley comes home this weekend. I'll I'll have one take. I'll have her take one to Jacksonville. With. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have one. But uh, before armament and access wow. says yeah, it, yeah, sure. I'm gonna give you one too. I'll put it I'm inside. sure he sent me one, and it's sitting in the mailbox. Oh, and Jesus. no, <laughs> I don't have the keys for the mailbox. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so, boom! Yeah, there she yeah. goes. I'm getting. I'm, we're working on it. We're working on getting the keys. We're gonna get Hank, the keys. I'm, with, Hank, I'm uh, working on my uh, my backdrop in my man cave here. I uh, ordered a couple more flags that I'm gonna cool. you know, kind of put up in the ceiling. So next time I'm on, uh, we have to show everybody my um, my military themed uh, uh, flags I got coming out. Okay, cool. So you got the yeah. Army National Guard one. Yeah, I got the Army National Guard. I got some couple of military police flags coming out. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you posted some pictures of your of your uh, when you were serving. Skinny, yeah, dude. yeah, skinny yeah, guy. Skinny. Yeah, man. I was uh, <laughs> I went in. I actually broke the record for the most weight loss. I went in weighing like two twenty, and I graduated weighing one hundred and seventy five. Whoa. What? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa! What kind of suffocation? Jesus, yeah. yeah. They didn't feed you. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. In, in basic training, and you, if you're a fat body, uh, and you go in there and you, you, they can't tell you what not to eat, but I can guarantee you this, you will make weight because if you don't and you pass, you fail your PT test and that sort of thing, you will be what they call restarted, meaning they take you from no matter where you are and they restart you to day one. I was actually restarted. I did eight weeks of basic training. I failed my um, phase two PT test. 
I had to go back to day one again. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's serious. Yeah. Um, so question for Rod, I guess you could you could chime in on this. What do you think about the Marine Corps going co-op or co-op co for the first I time? I, I, I don't I know. Like it. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, because now keep in mind, they do all the same drills, okay? They're just separated from men on one side, women on the other side. Now, I will say this, though. The army is co-op, co-ed, and it didn't, it doesn't, um, it didn't bring up any issues. You know, I, 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 when I served, when I was going through basic, I mean, hey, the women were expected to do the same thing as the men were. Okay. Uh, with the Marines, you know, I, I'm a traditionalist, you know, has nothing to do with being, you know, me not liking women to do this or you know, whatever that I'm a traditionalist and just like I'm a traditionalist, like where I don't feel like girls should be in the boys counts and boys shouldn't be in the girls counts. Yeah, I'm in the they're, same. You know, they're, they're separate, man. I, I, you know, I, I don't care about what's going on in the world today. Hey, you know what? Girls are girls counts. Boys are boys counts. You know, that's why they got two different. They didn't say the children's counts. They said, <laughs> you know, they just said, hey, you know, yeah. I don't like girls being Boy Scouts. Sometimes I, those separations are for good reasons, and they work. Sometimes they are. They are. Uh, but keep in mind, I mean, what this does is now we're, you know, I'm all for women's um, uh, live, women's uh, equality, you know. But, and I don't mind, I think there's um a female uh, that just graduated from the special forces, you know, which is fine. Hey, man, I know plenty of women that can outshoot dudes. Oh, you know, totally. yeah, you know, so that I have. Hey, if you can I outshoot, think, I, think, go I, think, the I think most women can naturally. Yes, yeah, I, I mean, do. if you can physically go through the what it takes to be able to get that, hey, do it. I'm all for it. And then you can go in with the men, and hey, you're fine. As far as the Marines. I don't see. I mean, are, are, why are they doing this? Are they why are they now doing this instead of not did it, doing it and, 10, and 15, 20 years ago? The crazy thing is they're treating it like some sort of experiment. They're like, oh, we'll just see how it's going to go, and then we'll we'll go from there. So, no, I, yeah. I, I mean, true enough. I don't think that that's going to make any of the soldiers any worse or anything. Oh no, no but, I don't think so. But it, I think yeah. it's going to be hard on everybody because. Women are the women are going to have to try to compete with the men at the same time, and it's it's so. Let, I'm know. just trying. I'm trying to wrap my head around what you guys are saying. Are you saying that now, almost like Starship Troopers, the they're women going, and the men are going to be in the same showers going, and everything? Oh, it, no. I, I don't know. They're going that far, but they're going. Uh, you know, when I saw that. I, basic I, training. Yeah. You know, by me being former military, when I saw that, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, now, now, let, well, let me give you a little dirty secret. Uh, when you're in military training, you know, when you first see women that are in, um, before, let's say before we go downrange, when I say downrange, that means uh, when you get to your processing center, uh, you're in what they call reception area for about a week or so. And the reception area is designed to get you acclimated to being in basic training. Uh, they, they do, you do all your shots there. You do uh, you get your haircut, you know, well, you do all of that stuff. Quick tangent, then, I watched the video of Marine basic training where they were giving the guys shots and right. they just line you up like cattle and get, oh, you, yeah. get like, you get like, seriously, like, like boom, boom, arm. boom. Oh, they give you like two or three in arm and then you're out the door. Oh, you're out the door, God. yeah. <laughs> and and when I, I, I'll never forget, um, it was the year that the Dallas Cowboys played the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl uh, the first time. And when I went in, they did let us look at the, uh, the Super Bowl game when I was in reception. And after that, that was the next time I saw a TV it was when I saw the OJ trade case. And I was actually in basic training and I had broken my foot and I was in the office. Um, I snapped my foot in half, basically. And I was in the uh, what we call the senior drill sergeant office. And, um, you know, I was actually answering the phone. I was like a secretary at that point. And I'm looking at the OJ Chase. But getting back to what I was saying, when you see the women and when they first get the reception, you're looking at them, you're like, oh, hell no. Ain't no way on earth I'm going to ever talk to that girl. About about a month later, 
those women started getting looking pretty good to you. I'm gonna tell you that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody's gonna start looking. I mean, good. keep in mind, there's no weave, there's no uh, makeup. I mean, huh. they're ashy and dirty, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and they look good. I mean, they don't need all those things, man. We didn't have all those things in the in the in the magnum in the caveman days. Christian Gress says this: My ship in the Navy went from uh, all male ship to having female on board. What a disaster that was! No offense to women, but it caused a lot of issues. So it's, yeah. it's gonna be tough. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. my drill sergeant actually uh, he got uh, put on court martial. Uh, after I graduated, uh, because he had a relationship with one of the privates, mm. and uh, yeah, he got um, he got um, kicked out of the military. He, a woman? Uh, no, Maybe. no, it was a, a man, a male. Okay, the guy who got kicked out was a male. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was with a, a girl. He had a relationship. Okay, okay, yeah, because we need uh, some other relationships that go down. And yeah. in the military, they take that serious. He was in Fort Knox for a year. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, listen, it, it's a tough deal, but you know, we're going to have to learn if it, this is what we're doing, got to learn how to live and deal with it. Oof. Oof. You know, I know it, it's, it's, I'm not saying that, um, that I don't disagree, like, like I, that I disagree with you guys, but I think that if this is, you know, everyone wants everything to be fair, this is where we're at, you know, in, in the end, nature is not fair, right? There's things that women have that are better than us. Mm -hmm. And things that we have that you know maybe better than than they have, or vice versa. That's how it is. But uh, yeah, there's going to be issues. Hank, I'll tell you this: in civilian population, that's fine, perfect. In a military population, that's it's all together different. I'm gonna tell you: if you've never been in the military, one thing that we always used to say: civilians have it so freaking easy. And you don't you don't realize how easy your life is until you join the military and everything that you do is predicated by somebody telling you what to do, when to do it, how fast to do it, you know, and when mm -hmm. you in civilian life, all we do is we wake up, we go to our jobs. We do our job. We go home and we look at TV. Put out. It's not like unless that you're military. married. When you're married, somebody's telling you what to do all the freaking time. Well, well, that's true too. But uh -huh. um, you still have a choice, you know. In that matter, in the if military, you were to believe you'd have a choice, sure. <laughs> I understand yeah. though. You don't. You yeah. It's look. It's yeah, tough, no, right? No. When you sign when you sign those papers, you belong to the government. You yep. do. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, it's a tough and, deal. What? How? Um, has anyone done any? Um, like, has anyone asked the military how they feel about this? Done any polling? See where the military is at with this? They, I mean, uh, the Marine Corps is going through with it, so I guess they're on that side of it. So, hey, when that gen when that general tells you, "Hey, this is what we're doing," you don't ask the it's question. You just, yeah. you just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to We Run Guns. I see lots of people in here, um, and so shout out to We Run Guns. I see that he came in and a bunch of other folks. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, what else can we go on here? Uh, <laughs> what was that safety thing? Okay. Did? Razor JB says, I can say this now that I'm retired. After 23 years of special forces, we as a majority don't want this. It's politics. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so. Roger that. Roger that. Yeah. And then Razor JB says you're never going to get accurate polls. Um, I, I guess you would you you probably would get in trouble if you're if you're active, and you and you. Uh, well, I mean, if you, kind of stuff, right? somebody asks you, then you tell them you know how you feel. But right. you I, you know I would never if you if you value your military career uh, and you want to move up in rank, uh, you will shut the hell up and and just do what they say. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Did you guys wanna you wanna touch on the um, on the uh, second safe thing? You wanna do that? What? Real quick. So what I put up a link. It looks, it looks dumb to me. <laughs> okay. All right. So there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I touched on it. It looks retarded. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so so this it's from uh, some a company sent this to me. Isabel Safe. They sent it to me. It's basically second safe, and I think what it does is. Um, it's a device that you can attach to your AR to prevent it from accidentally from the trigger being pulled. 
unless you want it to be, so it prevents uh, accidental discharge on the trigger. I could throw up a thing, you know. I mean, here's what here's here's how it's a it's basically a grip safety for an AR-15 because you have to grip the way it, it attaches. You have to grip the front of the gun right here to get it out of the trigger guard. So it's, yeah. it's a grip safety, but this is your safety. This is this is your safety. Right. Don't put your booger hook on the bank switch until you're ready to to. Yep. I uh, I totally agree with you. Listen, here's how. Here, first of all, let's go over my philosophy on this, just so everyone knows. Um, because I know that there's certain things that I cover, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, why you do? You know, this is so terrible." And I get it. Like for me, what I try to do, people are coming out with things, and I try to expose them to you guys, let you have some kind of idea of what this thing is, so that you can make up your mind about it. I don't think everyone needs everything. Um, so the way it was explained to me, and we could definitely put this on an AR and see how it is. The way it was explained to me that there's people like uh, SWAT teams and stuff like that that have a lot of equipment on them and all those kinds of things, and they get into situations where they get an accidental discharge because you know the, the AR is somehow rubbing on equipment that they have. Does, does that actually happen? Have you heard of that happening? Um, Cause I never have. <laughs> I mean, I've never been on a SWAT team, so I don't know. You know, I'm not in any of these like trained highly enough that. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think. Look, do do our do police officers do SWAT teams and things like that have accidental discharges? I think so. I think we see that happens. We see that situations happen, and people discharge their weapons, and then everything then everything sets off because no one knows where where the fire is coming from and all that kind of stuff. So um, I guess, yeah. you know, I guess in pistol form, it'd be equivalent to like the Glock dongle, the middle of the mm -hmm. dongle, because if you accidentally don't have your, you know, the, the pistol won't go off if you don't make it go off. So yeah. Yeah. in that sense, it kind of makes sense, but yeah. there's more, for me, there's more to go wrong and I don't, it, it's not for me. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just not for me. Yeah, right. I don't think it's. I don't think something like that would be for most people. Mm -hmm. For most folks out there, you're gonna have your gun on safety. You know, there's all kinds of depending on what you want to do. You're gonna have all kinds of things going on. Now, there's maybe folks out there that do have a lot of equipment on them that are maybe wearing gloves and things like that, and uh, they are worried about that. You know, and for whatever reason, they may not have that thing. Um, they may not have the safety switch on. Maybe they, you know, don't roll like that. Um, Razor JB says a SWAT team will never use that. I never roll a safety switch on, Hank. You know that. I live my life with the safety switch on. <laughs> so, all right, there you go. I mean, listen. So, so there you go. We could, we could oh, throw it. Look, we could throw it. It's not. It's not that difficult. It doesn't look like it's much. Your product. I apologize. Huh? Say that again. I said, Sorry for whoever invented that. I just shit all over your product. <laughs> well, here's the thing, man. Look, now you've just volunteered to put this. Oh God, on one of my guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. So there you go. You've oh, just God. volunteered, baby face. I'm gonna have to try it out for you guys. <laughs> uh. Richard Hughes says, what's a safety? And Aries Firearm says, uh, this is my safety. <laughs> I get it. I understand that. Put my safety you know. on my gun. Yeah. Um, at the same time, I know people are out there making things and doing things and all that. You know, we get lots of different things here. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, this is the anyway, reason why. Next up on the chopping block. <laughs> yeah, this is, what, this is why you would need uh, safety. Okay, Babyface, if you want to know, Babyface is sending me pictures of IDF girls. <laughs> um, so Razor JB says, you're adding things to basic fundamentals that could get someone killed, and it is a yeah, safety. I'm, I'm, yeah, I feel right. like I'm in the same boat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Micro Johnson Unit says, if, you're, if, you're, if you carry appendix and don't have a safety, okay. you're going to shoot your unit off. It's a matter of time. <laughs> Hey man, she's a uh, military police officer. Uh, she's a she's a something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What so, what is okay. that? A uh, a short barrel? That's an It's a little tiny AR. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I hope you guys shared with everyone else. Oh, here we go. Hope you guys shared with everyone else. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay a little bit in Florida here with the news. I'm gonna throw this up so you all can. Take a quick look at this and let me know what you think about it. So that's the next thing coming up.
Well, yeah, what um, happened? In, in case what? you want to talk about I, about cute IDF, <laughs> if you want to talk about cute IDF chicks, you know, I'm not, I'm not against it, but uh, I'm sure Lola's back. I heard Lola come back. Uh -oh. Just FYI, uh -oh. we, gotta, we gotta tell you her down. Yourself. <laughs> As gun yeah, outrage grew, Monster Jam quietly stripped weapons from its monster trucks. Yeah. So, so we're you know here in Florida, we like monster trucks. <laughs> have you have you guys ever who who here has been to a monster truck rally? I know I, I have. did. I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't been to a monster truck rally? Never well, been to one. And you you're you are a Floridian. And they have it here in Jacksonville. Yeah, you should go, man. It's it's you know high it should be next month. High octane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically this article is talking about um you know, the monster truck, I think it's gunslinger. Yeah, gunsling the monster board. truck, and they slowly it, started taking off player. guns and things like that, huh? Was, uh, there was a truck with menacing names like Grave Digger and Maximum Destruction, but Slinger, formerly Gunslinger, was quietly redesigned in 2017 to turn the gun images on the truck into slingshots. I think these people don't understand what who their audience is. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think anybody that goes to this event gives a Brats asked about that. Um, no. I've been to. I've been. These are a lot of gun people. Yeah, a lot of gun people going to these things. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. The gun uh, turret from Soldier Fortune was removed this year, and the metal militia monster truck was redesigned to remove the image of a gun. I wonder if they were told to do that, or if they volunteer voluntarily did that. Lots of companies are getting politically correct. Um, they don't want. Uh, organizations to start going after them and defunding them and all that you know this is pr it's pretty terrible what i see happening with gun stuff uh around the country so it is when you when you people start seeing those parish like the those japanese planes parachuting little honda and toyota nissan robots on your asses <laughs> you know it looks like you're gonna wish you had some gunslingers if for in this article, it looks like it's not the guys that do it voluntarily. Ellington based Feld Entertainment is a producer of Monster Jam. Uh, they said in an attempt to assuage animal rights protesters, they also did Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey. Uh, in an attempt to assuage uh, animal rights protesters, Feld took elephants out of the circus in 2006, but attendance plunged and plunged in the circus closed for good in 2017. I'm sorry, 2016, 2017. Yeah. So because they you're not in the circus if there's no elephant. So what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, they you know the, those, those poor elephants were made un well, they were unemployed. Monster quote Monster Jam is a family friendly brand. <laughs> you know you're crushing cars with giant muscly trucks, right? And like why is that not that's that's family friendly. I like oh that. no, totally. But yeah. putting a gun on the side is going to make it that much worse. Here's what I I would actually like them to have real guns. Yeah. Oh lord! We're like, have you us. ever seen yeah. Death Race? The like Death Race one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> What's the, the movie? <laughs> um, oh god, I can't think of the name of the movie. Idiocracy. Oh. The, have you seen Idiocracy? <laughs> yeah, Idiocracy. Of course. <laughs> That's okay. First of all, who has not? Have you? Who has oh, not god. seen Idiocracy? That's uh, <laughs> that's what okay. I think of. Rod, you've never seen the movie Idiocracy. Uh, you should go see it. It's what is it? Good. Um, it is a prophecy. <laughs> it's a kind prophecy. Of is go it to, a funny movie? Go yes, um, IMDB that movie right now. It's a good movie. You can't go uh, see it in the movie theater. from Idiocracy from Gainesville, Florida, if you didn't know that. Oh, okay. The, the, who, the, lead, actress, the lead actress from Idiocracy. Oh, okay. She's, half black girl, by the way. She's from Gainesville. Yeah, Florida. she was on um, Saturday Night Saturday Live. Night Live. Yeah, she's from Gainesville. Okay. Uh, idiocracy, very good movie. It has co totally come true. We are living currently in idiocracy. You want to go see that? Well, okay, tell me what's the, what's the theme of the movie? What is it about? Okay, basically, the movie is about um, a soldier in current times, which was like I think Idiocracy came out in the late nineties or early zeros. Yeah, something like if that. I'm not mistaken, and it was about a soldier from that time who was real lazy and all that kind of stuff. And he was trying to avoid getting into a whole bunch of things. So they froze him. Yeah, they froze him in a time thing. So yeah, and he wakes he wakes up in the future where he's actually the smartest person on Earth. 200 years later, and everybody has gotten so stupid that he is now considered the smartest man on Earth. Yes. Is this it, is this it here, right here? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, I got it on. I got it on my my bootleg app. I'll oh, check it out. It's really funny. Yeah. Okay, way to go, Rod. Good to show your bootleg app on uh, <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Everybody knows about Showbox, man. Go yeah. get watch those. Support it's, it's really support funny. the filmmakers of this. Um, who is it? The people who made um one of the cartoons. Um, I think it's Mike Judd, right? Mike Judge, um, really? the guy who did uh oh man, King of the Hill, right? Idiocracy. Really, I think so. Look it up. Look it oh. up. It's 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 one of those people. It's a really good movie. Basically, what happens is all the all the it's the smart people keep putting off having children, um, and then the the really the, outbred by the dumb people. <laughs> yes, they have children, and then those pe those children are running the future. Yep. So it's got um. Yeah, check it out. Oh, what's the, the the muscly black guy? Oh God, what's his name? He was like an ex football player. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Oh, boy, well, damn. Oh no, <laughs> no that's a lot of that's a lot of black. That's a lot of guys. If I say his name, you would know. Yeah. Uh, somebody's um, gonna call it out. I can't think of it offhand. Yeah, he's in the uh, he's in a lot of uh, he's in a bunch of different movies. He Camacho. was in Everyone Loves Raven. Camacho. <laughs> yeah, everyone. What? Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Says. Terry Crews. Yeah. He's, he's President Camacho in, in yeah. the movie. <laughs> it's one of the things they predicted is that in the future today, all the presidents is going to be a popularity contest. <laughs> Damn, we live in that <laughs> shit, baby. <laughs> we are living that, Damn. and Damn not. Too. I'm not just talking about our president right now. We've had a couple of presidents that have been popularity contests, yep. straight up and down. So there you go. Um, it's a it's a really good movie, and it, it reminds me that there's a scene where. His uh, judgment is uh, he has to go into like an arena uh, up against um, uh, like monster trucks. So that's what made me think. Mm -hmm. of. Yeah, that's true. That is in there. Um, Terry Crews drives around in a monster truck. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, yeah. Terry Crews. Awesome. Terry Crews. Big T Terry Crews. Yeah. yeah. He's the president. He's, he's the president, president of the movie. Of the movie. <laughs> but Terry Crews didn't play in the NFL. I thought he was a football player. Yes, he did. No. He did play in the NFL. No, no, he did not. Oh, boy. Terry Crews. Terry Crews did not play in the NFL. He was a bodyguard to Ice Cube, but he did not play. Oh, uh, are, you, are you willing to put your BMW on that? Terry Crews was drafted by the Los Angeles Rams in the 11th oh, round in 1991. Oh, damn it. I almost got a BMW. And you were going to put some money on that. <laughs> yeah, I was about <laughs> Damn it, baby face. You <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, he was. He was. I don't think he played forever, though. He, it was not a long I, I saw He him. must be played real brief. Yeah, I saw him talking about it. He said that um, he said that like something happened to him and, and um, he couldn't play. That and to make yeah, to make money, he was a he's an artist. So to make money, he was working doing the court sketches. You, you ever seen the person doing <laughs> yeah, those? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He did that. Yes, he's an artist. He's and, the coolest guy ever. And what he did was to make money. He's a really he's a hardworking guy, you know. To make money, he was doing portraits for the other NFL guys at like five thousand dollars a pop. <laughs> and I didn't know he I'm, could. I didn't know he could draw or paint yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I saw that somewhere. I think I saw a video or something like that. So from what I can tell, he's just like a super nice guy too. He just seems awesome. Uh, uh yeah, I like him. I like him. Um, yeah. So he played for the the Rams, San Diego Chargers. Ryan Fire in '95, Washington Redskins, and oh, yeah, the that's the uh, the NFL Europe. Ryan Fire. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he played yeah. for a couple different teams, and then I guess dropped out for injuries or something. Yeah. So one of the things from um, Idiocracy that that Idiocracy predicted that that we're living, and all everyone here is guilty of this. If you have a phone, you're guilty of this. Idiocracy said that in the future, we will sit on the toilet and be entertained at the same time. We will eat <laughs> shit and be entertained at the same time. And if you have a phone, don't even lie. You know you're doing it. Go away. I'm baiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good. You, oh, man. Rod, it's a good movie. You got to watch this movie. Man. Yeah, no, it's, it's right. really good. Yeah, All you right. gotta watch this movie. It is prophetic. It right after we get off, <laughs> yeah. Um, I try to watch it at least once a year just to see what it's new stuff is happening. So yeah, 
you know, but like they said, like what will happen in the future is that the smart people will be shouted down by the ignorant people. And, and that's it's what, true. That's what's happening. It's true. Yeah. It's what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, oh, this is so. so sad. This realization is really, really sad. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brian Wyatt says YouTube, his one man band music video, is Terry Crews. So, yeah. Wait, he has a. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look this up. I haven't seen that. Uh, man. Uh, Kiaski says you can't input while you output, Hank. Um, <laughs> some people out there have done that. <laughs> People have inputted and outputted at the same. It's like circular breathing in jazz. <laughs> do you guys know about circular breathing? I, yeah, I never could. Because I, I was a yeah. saxophone player, never was able to do. Oh, it. okay. Never yeah, one, could of my, do it. one of my friends is a is a real is a you know I don't know how good you were at playing the sax, but I have a friend of mine, uh, Eric Wyatt. Actually, he's a uh, you know he's he's if you you can look it up. He he goes to like uh, Hong Kong and stuff Ooh. like that and plays. Sax and he could circular breathe. He learned that the old school way. A friend, mine, a friend of mine in high school could do it, and I, I never, I was never able to. Yeah. It's, it's a really hard skill to learn. Yeah. Um. Who? What's the famous guy that was it? Sat Satchmo that could do it. Was it? Who's the guy that could? Uh, was he a trumpet player or? There was a guy that could circular breathe and just. No joke, how you, man. How do you learn how to do that? I don't know how I you do that. So basically, what it does, it's like a. Uh, it's like playing a um, oh uh, god, what's the really annoying Scottish instrument? Yeah, bagpipes. It's like playing bagpipes, where so you keep the pressure in your throat and your mouth going into the instrument, but you close off your windpipe and then through your nose you take a breath in and then continue blowing through your lungs. So it's this process of you have to keep pressure for a couple seconds through like your mouth, breathe in and then open your throat back up. It's it's really really difficult. Yeah. Never. Uh, Len Holt it. says Dizzy Gillespie. Yeah. Is he the last? I know that name. Yeah. If you if you if you could do that, you're badass. My friend oh, yeah. uh, Eric Wyatt could do that. That's how I wooed Lola, by the way. Because Lola oh, thought I was real ghetto ass when I met her. Dizzy Gillespie's the one that had those massive cheeks, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, he should have yeah. never been able to play, never been able to play a trumpet with a with posture like that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants to know if it, his, Rod, his arm is behind him. Like... Is that a bong behind you, Rod? Somebody wants to know. You got a bong be back there? That's a bubble lamp. Oh, <laughs> I don't believe it. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. <laughs> oh, you know gonna have to see it, is, right? Can we see it? Because I think it, it's a bomb. It, it's broke. Oh, oh yeah. okay. a likely story. A likely okay. story. A likely story. <laughs> Patrick, so, you know what a bubble lamp is, right? No. Nope. Is that what <laughs> the kids are calling it nowadays? <laughs> no. It's like when you go into the nightclub and uh -huh. you see the the lighted and they change different colors. And it's the bubble is water. You mean a lava lamp? It's no, not a lava not, lamp. No, it's not like, a lava lamp. It's a bubble lamp. <laughs> you you mean to tell me you've never been into a club where they had like the the bubble, the the uh the panel so, where so the bubble real question comes here, Rod, is, is, is that how you woo the ladies? You get them home, you turn <laughs> on you turn yeah. on the bubble lamp and the soft jazz. Yeah. And, and how did it get broken? Yeah, you, you went uh, a little they, too much. They, well, well, actually, they were cheaply made. Um uh, and they in the, in the base there's a uh, the 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 blower is just like in a in a uh, aquarium tank, and mm -hmm. it blows the bubble up through the water, and there's like a light that changes different colors in it, and you know it gives a little, little ambiance type thing. Yeah. So yeah. so uh, yeah, um, Richard Hughes says yes. Code name bubble lamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aries Firearm says, is that what you call a bong in Jacksonville? <laughs> uh, Mr. FNH says he tells the kids it's a lamp. <laughs> yeah, hey, we got a college down here. I bet you I could find somebody to turn that into a bong for if you really wanted. Yeah. Kiaski says, kids are out here. <laughs> yeah. Kiaski says, not now. I'm playing with my bubble lamp. <laughs> um, and Noodles 1980 wants to know if I've ever carried a pistol without a holster. Yes. I have too. Yes. I don't recommend it. It's not a good um, idea. I've done a, I've done a couple of different things. There's the um, so you can get you can get some like these uh, pieces of kydex that snap over the trigger guard. That's you know. But that's not kind of a holster. Though. Yeah. I mean, it's not. A so that's kind of like cheating and doing yeah. that. But I have carried like some pocket pistols and. I carried uh, uh, for a while, for probably a month or two. I carried uh, the Keltec P380 P380. Yeah. In my just in my pocket without a holster, eh, probably wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done, but 
Yeah, if, if it has a long trigger pull, you still have to be really careful. Yeah, he, he uh, shouldn't do it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Patrick, check out my. Um, uh, I've also I've also carried that bullpup nine like that, and that's the reason why it has a long yeah, trigger pull. Trigger. On it. What was that, Rod? Yeah. Uh, click on my link. Hey, put that link in the uh, no, chat. We're not for me. First, you want to first you want to tell us about your bubble lap. <laughs> Next, you want us to click on your link. <laughs> mm. Which one did you get? Did Dangerous. you get the pink one? Uh, <laughs> no, it, that that's just basically how it looks. You know, I mean, this uh, here's they, your Amazon it, link. Oh, yeah, I can't. It, it's too long. Can't send it. it. No. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah, I but carry the, my revolver. Said he Mexican carried when he was a teen, which is a kind of a name for it. Is that what? Yeah, this is what it's called, Mexican isn't it? Carry, yeah. Um, now you guys interrupted me with my story, and I'm gonna tell this because I'm pretty <laughs> proud of this move. When I met Lola, she thought I was real ghetto. Yeah, she didn't understand how sophisticated I was. God. It's like layers. My 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 sophistication God. is hidden under layers of <laughs> ghetto ness. <laughs> so. You know, and she was in college, so I took her to this. Um, I took her to this, to this jazz bar that I knew that was not far from her school. And my friend Eric Wyatt, that I'm talking about, he was playing there. So you know, I take her over there and everything. She's like, "Oh, this is really nice." Then Eric comes over and like serenades her, you know, with the sax for for a while. And she was like, "Oh shit!" You you like you know, she was amazed that I that I knew him. I've actually I've known him for a long time. So. Um, yeah, that's that's okay. How, hey, that's hey, how I that, locked down the Lola. If you want to know, was that before or after you became intimate? What are you talking about? Were you, before were you or trying, after? Yeah, yeah. If it was, if it was after, why would I be doing that? Oh, okay, okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure. Like, I do not understand the words <laughs> that I'm not here about. <laughs> yeah, so you just did that just to get a piece. <laughs> Uh no, you know it wasn't like that with Lola. I, I you know, I wooed, I wooed Lola. There you go. Yeah, because he was like, mm, this girl's going to pharmacy school. I can have a good <laughs> life ahead of me. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't think about that at all. I didn't listen. I don't think um, back in those days, pharmacists had a tough time even getting jobs. Believe it or not. And I was like, I don't know what you're doing with this pharmacy school thing. I wanted Lola to continue on and become a doctor. That was her original plan until I messed her up. So she could have been Dr. Lola, which actually now when you graduate pharmacy school, technically you're a doctor. But back in those days, you're you were not. Mm. So, and it's the same uh, same. Someone says death by snooze there. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. OK, let's see. Um, OK, something we skipped over something here that we were supposed to talk about. <laughs> uh, was there oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Remember? Oh, oh right. Hey. Okay, cool. Okay, so Rod Mills, in addition to your water bubble lamp or whatever you want to call it, you've got a stun gun. Why? Why? Well, one thing uh, that I've come to realize that... He wrecked his uh, microphone. Yeah, your, your microphone <laughs> auto so it went down. Just hold on a second. Yeah, I think it, it just... Back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you're, you're back. You're back. Oh, okay. Don't worry about anything. Well, well, one thing I, I came to learn is that not every situation is going to require lethal force, okay? Uh, you may have somebody just, just trying to, you know, physically hit you, and, you know, of course, you can't pull out a gun if somebody's trying to do that. You know, they have to have, you know, some type of weapon before you're able to, uh, you know, have lethal force or something like that. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of um, going back and forth uh, with non-lethals. I, I do have a, uh, what's the uh, retractable baton? I have a baton. I have, yeah, and I got one of these, and I'm like, you know. You know but I carry both. I carry Harry's both. Fireworks that stab them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is not, um, yeah, the hang strange situation does not condone, condone that. <laughs> <laughs> the methods of Aries firearms. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so, okay. So what is the brand of that thing and where did you get it from? So give us a uh, close up look at this. This is uh, the brand. If you go to taser.com, this is the M26. Uh, this is a um, law enforcement uh, taser, uh, but okay. you can, uh, civilians can buy it. This I think I did a video on this one time. That's expensive. Yeah, this is the, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, this is the older version here. 
Uh, they do have the newer one, which is the X twenty six. Yeah. Now that is a, that is very expensive. Okay. Uh, what are we talking about money wise? And where did you get it from? Uh, actually, I have a um, a good friend of mine. Uh, that's my FFL here locally, and he's a pawnbroker, and he got one in, and I'm like, he gave me a he gave me a price that I couldn't refuse on it. Okay. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, like less than yeah. half of what. You know, uh, he was trying it. to sell it for yeah. Him. yeah. So basically yeah. from the ghetto Macy's <laughs> from the pawn shop. No, I'm not knocking it. It's a good thing. It's hey, a good thing. That same yeah. guy, he's got a uh Gen 5 uh Glock uh 19. 19 and he's selling it for like 450. That's a good deal. Okay. I All like right. Gen 5. Right. Yeah. I think I have got a Gen 5. Uh, I don't think we were supposed to do a video on it. I don't know if whether we did or we did it. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Aries Firearm says he can get you a refurb X26 if you want one. Okay. So let us let me ask you this about that stun gun. Mm -hmm. Taser. Taser, excuse me. It's taser. Would you be willing to taser Babyface P for a YouTube video? And is that legal? Can I, can I throw this out there? <laughs> I would do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I would have to require Babyface to sign a consent. Yes, yeah, but I would it. do it. I would do it. You gotta to like be a cop to carry a taser. You gotta get taste. I would like to see what it was like. One thing I don't want to <laughs> see. The one thing I won't do is I don't want to get pepper sprayed because you got to do that too as a cop. From what I hear, I would mm. hate to get pepper sprayed. Mm. Taser, it's like what five seconds of torture five and seconds. you're done. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I, I could I could tolerate that. Yeah, I'm not voluntarily taking any kind of pain. This is why we have a baby face around. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and babyface, I do have a cartridge that is actually uh, expired that I would be more than glad to use. <laughs> on this you. may this may happen. We're gonna have to set up some like pillow. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> but we we would definitely need two other guys uh, to um, catch you. To yeah, yeah, you gotta get caught. Like, oh, that's gonna be like a trust exercise. Yes, you can't Good luck just, with that I, one. I can't just land on my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> under the right supervision, though, I would I would do it. Yeah. No, I'm not. Harry says to tase me in the rectum. No, you got to aim. You got to aim between the shoulder blades. That's all I'm, that's all I'm allowing. <laughs> now, now, from what they said, that if you um, tase somebody uh, in their back or uh, near their spinal cord, they just they they it's go instant down. lockdown. Yeah. yeah. yeah now, it, it, it can be fatal if you tase somebody in the chest near the heart. Mm -hmm. It, it can be fatal there. Yeah. Did yeah. you have you thought about taking any sort of training for it? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> other, yeah. yeah. other than just to squeeze this damn trigger. <laughs> no. Uh, you will be the training, Patrick. You. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I get shot. You will be the training. So Aries, he gave us one ninety nine. He says, "Tase baby face in the rectum." Um, <laughs> use to, to get me to ride yeah. the taser. Yeah, listen, uh, Richard Hughes says uh, he gave us two bucks. He says, get baby face P to the taser. <laughs> oh, you know, Hank, we ought to do a video on that, man. I, <laughs> under the right circumstances, I would volunteer. <laughs> okay. Actually, Let me would, just say this to you. He's getting married, and I don't know if his future wife is done with all his body parts. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to commit to that. Babyface is down, but I'm not committing because I don't want the future Mrs. Babyface blaming like, me for stuff. You just bury me out with the goats. Where did you go to? I don't know. I haven't seen him in a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. I've Man, already I'll got I'll put some fresh batteries in that one for that uh, one. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I am. Um, I've always heard getting yeah. uh, getting tased isn't terrible. Getting pepper sprayed, getting maced is, yeah. is awful. Yeah. yeah. Well, so Kiaski, Key, hold on. Kiaski has this. This is a good one. Kiaski says, if you shoot Babyface P in the face, we can call him Taser Face. <laughs> You're just going to what? <laughs> leave the probe sticking out of my cheeks or something? <laughs> Do you know where that comes from? Do you know where that comes from? Taser, Taser Face? Yeah. No. Now, should I? That is, that is from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Hmm. I, have, seen... I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. And What's your like, name? Taser Taser face. Face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, you got to put That's, that's yeah. super lame. Yeah, we're just joking. We're not gonna. We're not gonna taste baby face pee at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Man, no, that would get absolutely like a not views. gonna do that. That would get a million views. <laughs> it, it would. Yeah. <laughs> that would definitely get a million views. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, just the <laughs> thumbnail. I, I'm just laughing at the thought of the thumbnail. So yeah, it's just, just uh, <laughs> yeah. baby face going down and uh, neck uh, bone just there licking his ear or something. You know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. That so was, uh, says he'll drive to Florida to help catch me. <laughs> yeah, SoCal Gunner gave us five bucks. He says, I'll drive to Florida to help catch Babyface P. Oh, Hashtag <laughs> Babyface P to the taser. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys are cruel. You guys are cruel. Oh, man. Yeah, that um, let's see. Though. Yeah. Um, yeah, we I need we need to consult with Marley before we do that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I am not getting involved in that. She's um, the nurse. We can just we'll have her and Lola there as medical response, having the nurse and the pharmacist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, David Carter now said, "What if you tase them in the boobs? We got to get him the boobs oh, first. No, but th there's you know if you get fake boobs, there's there's no meat there. It's, you, know. you know, if we get a million views on that video, we can get you boobs. <laughs> Still on this, are we? <laughs> <laughs> that and then then we will get a billion views on that video. <laughs> what, about, what, about Taser, what about Taser? What about Taser Walter? Oh, oh yeah, good oh, luck. God, I don't that. think Walter's gonna volunteer for that one. Okay, Walter has machine guns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's my warning to you. <laughs> yeah, Walter doesn't like going prone. Haven't you? Don't you remember that, Rod? Yeah, I remember that. Walter yeah. doesn't. Walter's like. What do I look like to you, an animal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Walter is not. Uh, so I don't think he's gonna get. He's gonna get takes. We'll find out from him. Uh, but Walter says. Walter says we can sell seats to that one. <laughs> so a lot of stadium. Yeah, Walter is okay with someone else getting takes, but I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know if he plans to do it. So. Mm. So you know, oh, okay, man. there we go. Let's see what else we've got. What else is uh, floating out there? Um, any news from? Uh, let's see the truth about guns. Does truth about guns have anything cool truth. that we can pull up here? Truth about guns. We'll pull it up. Uh, new scope. Loophole's new thing. Taurus. Friends don't let friends buy Taurus. Oh, that's cold. Colt adds the King Cobra to their pistol, their uh, revolver line. Oh, I did, yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah, so they're bringing out a stainless oh. King Cobra and 357 Magnum. What speech? Trump speech. Trump speech? Were we talking about oh. Trump speech? We haven't talked about that. Did you guys yeah, talk about okay. that? Did, did you? No. Uh, did we talk about that, Lola? Did I haven't. Did, uh, yeah, I can't remember if we talked about it or not. Oh. No, we we haven't here tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lola wants to know, did we talk? Did we talk about it? No. Colt has <laughs> added a new stainless 357 model called the Colt King Cobra with a full lug. It looks very Python esque. Mm. Pretty dope. Uh, mm. A full lug and a three inch barrel. It's a good looking gun. Here, I'll link this in chat. I so, I may own one of these actually at some point. And how much is it? How much is it going to be? Ninety nine. Not bad for a revolver. How much? Eight hundred ninety nine hundred dollars. Hmm. Yeah, that's not, not bad for a Colt revolver. You know what they should do? Never mind. Yeah, don't give ideas out. Yeah. If they would bring out the freaking Python again, but that's never gonna happen. Never ever happen. <laughs> it won't, it won't. They don't have the gunsmiths to make them any longer. It's never gonna happen. Wasn't Colt also gonna do um a little pistol? A little pistol. Yeah, like uh I don't know if it was a little derringer. I thought I thought there was some other thing that Colt was gonna do. I haven't heard about it if so. I'm not sure. Okay. But no, I'll totally well, about something. I don't know. I might have. Um, maybe I'll be a Colt fanboy. Maybe that was another company that was going to do that. Cool. I'll throw that up. Uh, let's see. What else is floating? Okay. Did anyone see Trump's speech? I didn't actually get to, get to watch. Yeah. It. I mean, I looked uh, at it. Babe. Yeah, I looked at it after the show, basically. And if any, if you guys have any questions, comments, or whatever about it. Trump was saying that, you know, it looks like he's edging towards the national emergency thing uh, with the wall that, you know, he's saying there's been a lot of lives and things like that lost, which, they, you know, they have been lives lost because of people coming over the borders and all that kind of stuff. Um, what kind of lives lost? There's been We're people who have come into the country illegally that have killed people. Yeah. Oh, oh OK. Yeah, that's happened. You know, Um 
you know, if we didn't give the Mexican mafia uh, guns, then maybe they wouldn't have shot up our border patrol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be true. There's a lot of different things going on there. I think that we do need to do something about immigration for sure. I think we need to, you know, we need to bring in, we need to simplify immigration rules. So everyone knows and everyone's on the same line. I think we have multiple lines right now. It's a little bit crazy. And um, we should, we should definitely refine that. I think we were talking about that the other day. Patrick with Walter that in in certain places there are there is a need for a wall etc but I think this whole thing has gotten a little bit crazy you know but yeah I guess we're just gonna stick on that right now so uh Kiaski says lock it all down until we get it under control you know um are, are we ever gonna get it under control we can if we focus on it if it's a deal we should we need to focus on it and make it happen we could do it. I yeah. Mean, how? How? Mm -hmm. We make one set of laws. Boom. One set of laws. Everybody has to follow those laws. Oh, you I, break I those you laws. You break those laws. You can't come into the country. Oh, yeah. I thought you. I thought you meant like preventing people from coming over the border or something. Um, are we going to prevent people from getting it coming into the country illegally? I don't think we could shut it down a hundred percent. Nope. You know, but I think we can we can um, instead of making all these different ways that people are doing it, we can make one line and then people can get on that line. And I would even go further to say that, you you know, we can look for the cream of the crop from from other countries. Right. People who are going to bring skills and talents and stuff like that mm -hmm. in, into the country. Go ahead, Patrick. No, We should be taking the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. We should just open the border. To anybody. You should be the best of the best to come here and, and, you know, work in the States. So what about those people that are coming from countries, they're fleeing from countries where uh, they may be killed, uh, you know, from dictators or something like that. So, so the ones, they're uh, like the, the group coming from Honduras or whatever, there were mm -hmm. a number of countries that they passed through that they could have asked for asylum from, but for some reason it, they have to ask for asylum in the States. Like that never made sense to because me. uh because this is the land of milk and honey and money grows on trees i mean why not you know here, here's go ahead go ahead i just want to i okay so we're at 20 what 8 19 right now mm -hmm. why now are they all trying to come in why not all these years before now i People think have always been trying to come to yeah, america i mean I Political move at this point. I think I think it's a political move. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right? It's baby face said. somebody and somebody has told those folks because, like, one of the men, the, the refugees said, "Well, they were telling us um, the whole time that America was, um, you know, accepting everybody. And if you're somebody that's poor, that does not have any means of a t television, or you're in an area where you can't get the news or something, and you're desperate, you're going to believe that." Yeah. Sam Gal says if you if you get caught being here illegally before you're deported, you should spend six months helping build the wall. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> idea. Okay. Um, so and, and here's OK. So here's the thing. What I think, of course, there's countries around the world that there's horrible things going on and it's and that's terrible. Here's what I think people should really do about that. Stay and fight, even if you have to die. Fix your damn country, you know. And I know that sounds really, really bad to everyone in the world. What about women and children? Well, if 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 you're in a country and it's this bad, it's because of the way the countries are being ran. And someone in those countries have to stand up and fight for everyone. Everyone can't just leave the country and then just go, hey, you know what? We're all going to solve our problems by going to America. I know it sounds horrible. The, those things happened in America. Lots of people for the history of America have been fighting for it to be like this. So the solution to everyone's problems is not to go, oh, let me just move out of my house and go over here. It's yeah. there's a thing in your mind that you cannot escape and you're bringing that thing in your mind here. You have to be willing and stand up and fight for it. What if things got like that here in America? Where are you moving to? Mm -hmm. what, what Where are you moving to? We got women and children here. We're going to have to go. You know what? We're going to have to stand up and fight for the women and children. And some of those women and children are going to die. And lots mm -hmm. of us are going to die. But that's what we have to do to make America a better place. Lots of people before us have done that for it to be a better place. And it can happen around the world if people just stop, 
you know, and go, okay, let's let's fix this shit. But there's gonna sometimes there has to be bloodshed because the governments of these places and the people who are running the governments are living pretty good. They're never gonna give that up. Just like the people running the government here have it pretty good. How do you think the uh, Native Americans feel? I, I'm sure that they don't feel real awesome about it. Exactly, they feel like you know. they got shitted. Yeah, but listen, man, that's as yep. as horrible as that is. There's native, there's Native American Indians. Uh, uh, it's not like a, it's not a Native Indians are not native to just America, right? There's Native Indians all over the world. Right. Well, at but, least, but you, know, you got before, Native Indians in South America. <laughs> But before anybody yeah. set foot over, set foot over here, they were here first. Sure, okay. And but had then, they but known someone was had, somewhere first before, right? True. Yeah. But had, had they known what what because they were basically lied to. We mm -hmm. and that's that's a fact. There, we know that. Okay. 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 And they lost their land, and now uh, they are the huge minority on the country. That they found it. Now, um, no, also, they didn't. They didn't found this country. I don't agree with that. Well, they were here first, though. But that doesn't mean you found something. <laughs> okay, I mean, well, and here's what I'm not trying to say that I don't care about what happens in, to um, Native Americans. What I'm trying mm -hmm. to tell you is that this is not the first place on the world in the world where someone else occupied it, then some other people came along, kicked their asses, and took over. Right. This is this is like real like real shit. You know, that happened all over the world. We can go to all kinds of places where other people occupied it. These guys came in, kicked asses mm -hmm. and took over. So, yes, that happened to Native American Indians. Um, you know, ultimately, they're still alive. They still have an ability to do something about that. Yeah. For the most part, what we see, we created like a super welfare system for Native American Indians and it's it's destroying them. And there's other Native American Indians that didn't buy into that and they're doing very well. But ultimately, there's lots of people that occupy someplace and people come in and kick ass and take over and then they're running it. So what do we do about that? Should, okay, we, should so, we just turn the government over to them? Okay, but understand this, that we are all uh, uh, immigrants to this country. We all, all are. okay. We are all immigrants to everywhere, and then we are all earthlings. Right, but we're talking so about America now. Let's just talk about America. Okay. We're all immigrants here. Okay. Okay. So now let's go back. If we're going to go back, let's say if we and we say that the Second Amendment was is basically uh, what's that? Uh, uh, shall not be infringed. Yada yada yada. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we're going to say that, then we also got to understand that. America was built on as a, a melting pot. It was a, a land of immigrants. And what's that phrase? Our borders are open to everybody in the world. Okay. So now I understand. Now keep in mind. You said that our I, borders I, are open to everyone in the world. I'm trying to figure that part uh, out. So I, I, it's not. It's not. I think America, America sees itself as a melting pot. And I think it, it is, is a melting pot. You have lots of people. Now, but now, it doesn't mean I'm, the borders are wide open. And 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 I, and I understand they, they should not be wide open. However, but I don't also think that we should only we should discriminate and say, well, if you're only here to help, because we got a lot of MFs here that ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That brings down this country where these other good people coming from these other countries could probably bring this country up. I can tell you, we all know folks in this country that bring this country down that were born here. Right. That I wish they wasn't here. Yeah, but here's what I'm trying to say to you, though. I, I mean, there's, we're, we're talking about two different things, and I'm just trying to settle that out. So, right. so in the question of Native Americans, I'm not saying that I think what happened was awesome. Mm -hmm. okay? For the most part, it was a horrible thing. Mm -hmm. um, horrible things have happened in human nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not saying that excuses it, but here we are. Now, we've, we've got to live with this. Now, freedom, things like you're talking about, like the Constitution and all of that, someone has to uphold that. People die for that. You you know, you served, lots of people out there served, lots of people fight for that and, and lose their life. Not just the ones that serve in the military, you know, Martin Luther King lost his life behind that. Yeah, lots of people have, yeah. have lost their life. We've, you know, presidents, all kinds of- JFK? You know, yeah, all uh, kinds Robert of things Kennedy? have happened yeah. behind that. Yeah, that is a society and a structure that we've built that, that if you go back to Native Americans, they weren't necessarily gonna build that. So if whoever came in here and took over America from those guys, 
didn't do it. Somebody else was going to do that because that's happened all over the world. So and that's, do, that's I, like, that's a thing that's in the past and that we have to just like, you know, we can't turn around and go, Hey, you know, let's just like go back to what it was. Well, I do say that in the same sentence, I say, well, yes, we did make America better than what it would have been just as it was when, before we got here. So yeah, we did well, do that. What I'm saying is that's a natural progression of society mm -hmm. on the face of the planet. So so maybe what Native Americans had before people before uh, Europeans settled here is mm -hmm. that they didn't actually they don't believe anyone owns the land, which is true. Right. This is the plan. You don't own shit. No one owns anything. You're here for your time. Yeah. You're going to die. And, and they had like that kind of philosophy. So mm -hmm. to them. For the most part, when they gave up things, they were like, yeah, we don't really own this. And they didn't think about it. They had a structure and then progress happened and progress happened all over the world. There was no way that America was going to be a bubble, you know, and continue the way that it was with Native Americans. Right. So as even though I'm trying to say to you, hey, it was a terrible thing. It's just like slavery was a terrible thing. You had on the continent of, of, of Africa, West Africans specifically, took their own people, sold them into slavery. Mm -hmm. And that's a terrible thing. But we're here. It's part of like the natural progression of civilization on right. Earth. Yeah. I mean, so, I don't so now what does that have to do with like immigration? You're saying because of that, we should just leave Africa. everything. Oh, excuse no, me. No, what, 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 what I say is this, is that, OK, you know what? There's checks and balances. Uh, there isn't a true way right now that's rock solid that we can keep terrorists out of this country from. From coming over okay okay it, it, that's been proven okay mm -hmm. uh so first and foremost before we do anything we got to clean up ourselves as america first okay? okay all right before we can do anything outside of america now once we've gotten to the point where we can actually say okay you know what um you know and it's good hey you know what if we need laborers uh because keep in mind if it wasn't for those Mexican folks, there's a lot of this stuff uh, that America wouldn't give, wouldn't have gotten done. Uh, think about who who uh, puts those big, heavy uh, loads of uh, uh, fruit. Uh, hell, even the, the fruit um, plantations here in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see any black folks out there. I don't see any white folks out there. I do see a lot of Mexicans out there. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, hell, my roof. Um, got put on in two days by a bunch of the essays, you know, uh, you know, and I was very thankful for that. You know, there are a lot of the, the a lot of the jobs that we don't want to do as Americans. Uh, and when I say Americans, we don't want to do certain things that they'll come and do, which is uh, which I'm I'm fine. and I'm cool with that. You know, if you paying your taxes, just like me, you know, um, you know, and I can't, a lot of people like to get upset because they say that, well, the Mexicans are coming over and taking over jobs. But the jobs that they're taking over is that what most Americans didn't want to do anyway. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, and, and Patrick, you can feel free to chime in on this. I don't think immigration is a strictly Mexican issue. I think some people paint it like that and make it look like, oh, right. if Americans want immigration reform, this is because of Mexicans. Mexicans aren't the only right. people that are coming into America. That is true. That's true. You know, right? and I yeah. got I got I got a couple of friends from uh from the Ukraine mm -hmm. uh that came over that I actually work with, you know, good mm -hmm. people, you know. Uh and I can't tell you all the nationalities that come over because I don't know everybody like that. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much so, everyone is coming into America in one way or another, right? Right, right. Yeah. But my and, thing that, is and that always happens. Like when people come into, mm -hmm. like, like my parents came to America. My dad was was pretty well off in Nigeria when we came. He was highly educated and all that kind of stuff. We came to America in the eighties, and he went to work in a housekeeping thing, basically sweeping and mopping floors. Right, right. right. And that's the way it goes. When people immigrate, even if they have a, a lot of education and stuff like that, this is what they do when they first get here. That's how it, that's to me, that's mm -hmm. just how it goes, right? And then from yeah. there, he, he became a teacher and did things and all of that. And, and obviously his kids, me and, and, and my brothers and my sister, we grew up and we, and, and we do other things, right? And then our mm -hmm. children do better, et cetera. That's how it happens with waves of immigration. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone, I know I'm definitely not saying there should be no immigration. I'm just saying like sometimes you have to stop something in order to fix it. But I'm not, where where I come in is I don't, I'm not confident that we would be able to fix it because if we could, we would have done it by now. 
Okay. So if we can't fix it, who do you think can fix it? Or do you think it's not fixable? So we should just I, I don't, go. There you go. I don't think it's a fixable solution. Okay. Unless, unless you do something that goes against the Constitution. Okay. I mean, of course, we can all, we can lock our borders down and everything, but think about what's going to happen. To, uh, this country suffers if that happens, you know, ultimately. Okay. Okay. I don't think, uh, yeah, I think that, um, I don't think America should close its borders forever. And I, and I, I'm not saying that. I don't think anyone's saying that. I think mm -hmm. if you want to fix this whole immigration problem, you can fix it. People just have to have the will to fix it. Okay, mm -hmm. Democrats, Republicans, everyone in America, people who were immigrants, people who were born here, you've been here for hundreds of years or whatever, you have to have a will to fix it. Other countries around the world have laws in regards to their borders and immigration. And if we just said, okay, if this is a big problem, let's stop and let's fix it. Let's make one policy that everyone has to follow, whether you come from Canada or Mexico or from mm -hmm. Africa or from Europe or whatever, let's make one policy. But right now there's hundreds of policies, man. There's right. so, policies so, for people coming from all over the world. So what's gonna happen is if we do that, then you're gonna have people from inside America, they're gonna be coming out they're going to be protesting. There's going to be violence. Trust me, there will be. Uh, and so then it's like, OK, are we really uh, we're, we're spinning our, our wheels? You know, we're, we're running on a treadmill expecting to go somewhere where you're not. Yeah, I think you know? lots of I think lots of things that are important. There's going to be people on two sides and there's people who might want to incite violence and all that kind of stuff. It's not necessary. It's not, I don't think it's mm -hmm. necessary to do that. And I think the people that would incite violence just because we're trying to do something about immigration or mm -hmm. any other issue in America, mm -hmm. then those people are the problem. Because I'm not saying violence is a solution to it. Anyone who's saying that, they're, they're the problem. Because ultimately, mm -hmm. if you did fix this issue, you can make it easier for so many people out there that do want to come to America and would be a benefit to America, right? And True. this goes this goes for everywhere in the world. America is not alone on this. You know, when we lived in England, my parents, I'm going to tell you something. My parents were born British citizens, okay? I was born in Guyana. My parents were born in Guyana. A few years before I was born, Guyana claimed its sovereignty from England. So my they were so my parents both were born in 1946, right after World War II. They were born British citizens. Now, they claimed their sovereignty, they became Guyanese, they became Guyanese citizens, we went to England. My father got a master's degree in England and he wanted to stay there and they were like, hell no, you have to get out. My yep. sister was born there, so she was a British citizen and they said, you have to leave and we will put your daughter in, a, um, in an orphanage if, if you don't want her to leave, okay? So that's why we left. So what does that mean? That's what England was doing at the time. You know, then now today you turn around and you have places like that trying to tell America what to do. Everyone has these kinds of policies. People have to learn how to live with that, you know, and, and we and if we're going to fix it, we're going to it's not going to be an easy thing. You know, we just have to face it, fix it, deal with all the toughness. People are going to say it's like your kids, man. If your kids are out of control, you're going to have to go take all their stuff from them and have harsh words, put them on, you know, Put them on restriction restrictions and all that kind of stuff they're not going to love you for it but so what they're going to learn a lesson yep they will yeah they so uh, I, think, I think sometimes you got to do tough things yeah i mean and I, I i'm down for doing a tough thing but i'm also down for um uh resolution as well and that's the main thing that i don't think that this country has is res a way to resolve the issue if we did, we would be doing it by now, don't you yeah. think? We, we're we not resolving it because people are using it um, for their own reasons and not actually fixing it. And, and what I mean by that is politicians that we have on mm -hmm. both sides of the aisle are using yeah. this issue for their yeah. own reasons. Democrats, Republicans, everyone's using it. And they're not actually fixing it, but we need to. We need to fix this. It it, it is a thing, man. And there's not just the people that want to come here legally and do things, but there's other problems. And I think okay, Trump's referring to that. People want to discredit what he's saying because it's Trump. But there's issues. What happens if someone um, runs into you and kills you, and they weren't they weren't here legally, and then they just leave? And the people who care about you are like, hey, 
this this person's just gonna get away with that they took they took away our brother our son and now mm -hmm. we now they just get to leave we don't get to do anything to them it's amazing that you said that because a uh a police officer uh in the next county over in uh fernandina beach nassau county florida uh he died running across the, tr the street chasing uh some guy from i think it was from guatemala and he got hit by a car and he died uh and you know the guy the Gu guy from guatemala was an illegal alien he was okay. supposed to be here uh matter of fact he had already been deported once before and came back and okay. that police officer lost his life chasing this person which should have he should have never been in here in the first place but this is much bigger than what we're saying that the border because keep in mind you got cartels sneaking folks in they got the money to do that okay matter of fact just so you know cartels find it more uh fruitful or they make more money sending uh people over uh the border than they do in co cocaine because of the fact that one thing those people had to pay the cartels to come if they don't make it and they had to go again they had to pay the cartels again okay so and don't you think so don't you think that's a problem it is a huge okay. problem so but, what do you propose to do about that but i can tell you this a wall is not going to uh, uh solve that okay yeah uh, I, I, I think i agree with you i don't think that's going to solve it alone i think mm -hmm. that you know you you have to do more than that because yeah, you know, regardless of what you do, you have to make sure that if someone pays a cartel to come here illegally, that they're wasting their money. Well, I mean, they're right now, stop doing that. If somebody comes over and they get caught, guess what they just do? They they in process you for a few days, and then they ship you back down to Mexico. That's yeah, it. and then that person comes back again, and, that's and they come back. Again. And so it, that's okay. just like you know the, the definition of insanity: uh, doing the same thing, expecting different results. Yeah, We're but I think that's what people are trying to fix. And that's what I'm saying. Like, either we give up on that and just go, oh, you know what? Forget it. Can't fight this. It's like if you had if you had a roach problem in your house, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, roaches can survive a nuclear holocaust. Exactly. Or, I don't know. That's like a wife's tale or whatever. We'll no, see. No, no, it's true. It's, it's, it is true. Okay. They, they survive so, at a bomb. Right. So you bomb them, they come back. Are you going to give up? You're going to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to I'm going to stop fighting these things. I'm going to do something different from what I've done before that doesn't work. Right. OK. And that's okay. what we need to do here. That's what we need to do here. I don't I mean, think, but I don't people think, don't like it. I don't think politicians really want to do that, though. I honestly don't. Yeah, that's oh, why sure. that's why people have to put pressure on them and tell them, yeah, we're going to do this. And you know what? That's that's the reason why if Walter was here, Walter will say, OK, that's why uh, that's why Trump is like, yeah, I'm I'm we're going to have a shutdown until we decide to do something about it. But I think the problem is people are just seeing the wall as a symbol and they're like, I don't know how that wall is going to stop an airplane from flying over it. You know, because most I know that there's a lot of illegal immigration with people coming over the border. I get it. But the, a lot of immigration, most of immigration is happening by people arriving here on airplanes. Well, well Hank, I'm going to tell you this. What, I'm, I'm all for the wall, just so you know. I mm -hmm. am all for it. I'm not all for the wall if it's coming out of my pocket, though. OK. Remember, that wall was supposed to be financed by who? I don't know who was supposed to be financed by Mexico. But, it was yeah. told to the American public that Mexico was going to pay for that. Right. But you now know, okay. I'm jumping in. Real quick. Of, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm jumping in. We should finance it with the money we took from El Chapo. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Did we actually take money from El Chapo? Is that really billion that? dollars is what How we much? have. 14 billion from what I heard. From El Chapo. El oh, Chapo? they probably froze his assets. Okay, well, that yeah. right there. But that's American because I guarantee that's American currency that I mean the, the drugs he was selling was probably 70% of what's coming to the states. It's our mm -hmm. money anyways. Why don't we just use it? Come yeah, on. But is that money in American hands? I don't know. I'm not yeah, sure. that's the that's the problem. A lot of times we spend the blood, other people get the treasures. <laughs> well what we what we did, we froze the assets. Yeah. So nobody can use it, we can't use it, nobody else can. Mm -hmm. They're frozen. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, Patrick has a good uh, idea. Hey, if you do a crime here and your assets, whatever they are, 
we get to use that. The the federal government used to gets to use that to pay off any type of debts that we have. Um, we got plenty I, enough. Uh, that uh, yeah, I would I would put a caution on that because mostly the government tries to take uh, seize assets from people like me and you. They don't spend a lot of their time trying to seize stuff from people like El Chapo. OK, I don't you know, they spend a lot of time trying to see stuff from us. I think to, to in regards of what you were saying that I think we're already paying for it. Everything that happens here in America, if you have a job mm -hmm. or you have your own job, your own business or whatever, and you're paying taxes, then you oh, are yeah. paying for everything that happens in America. Oh, yeah. You're paying oh, for yeah, health care. You're paying for what happens with the, the losses due to immigration or illegal immigration, you're paying for everything. You're paying for the military, you're paying for this, you're paying for that. This shutdown is a mm -hmm. shutdown of our money flowing out to pay for different things. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this, man. And anybody that's in the chat room that's prior military or current military, they can understand exactly what I'm gonna say. America spends so much money unnecessarily with things like the military. Things we pay we if, when they start doing um, the audits, we're paying like for stuff that you and I would pay a hundred dollars for. We're paying like a hundred thousand dollars for, like a sofa, uh, you know, just all kind of different things. That think about this: how much money is being spent? Well, uh, for the war on terrorism, think about how much money we were not using back in, let's say, the eighties because we didn't have any terrorist incidents to where how much money we're spending now with all the resources that keep in mind all these planes that are flying these war planes that are flying all this tech not all these bombs that we're building all of that stuff costs money we're the ones that are fitting that that bill uh, so therefore when uh osama bin laden said i'm going to change the way the world thinks and does things he's done that he's already won that even in, with him being dead, because of the fact that when you go to the airport and they make you take off your shoes, like Walter said, when they make you take off your shoes and your belt, you feel like you're a freaking homeless person holding up your damn pants, trying to go through the <laughs> x-ray machine, you know, uh -huh. you know, your dignity has already been shot. And then, so it's like, okay, well, man, we got to go through all of this. He has changed everything. Terrorists changed all of that. Think of and money, monetary wise, we are all paying for that, you know? Yeah. No, I agree with you. I think that, um, I don't know how to, like, I'm going to say that I think what the people kind of, what, like, we're in a bucket, right? I know everyone here believes probably in different things. But one of the things that I believe, and I think most people do, is that we need less government, we need less laws, all of that kind of stuff. We want that, right? We want more self-reliance. That's why we believe, that's why I believe in guns. Mm -hmm. You know, I should be responsible for my security first, not not like let's get more police officers and all that kind of stuff. Involved. That, so I think people are trying to do that. Huh? You got that a contingent out there that feels now. keep in mind, everybody in this, the chat room and, and everybody on the panel here. I think we all like to think the same is that we are taking our security into our own hands. That's pretty much why we're self thinking uh, at that point. But mm -hmm. you got a probably bigger population in america that feels that the government and their local law enforcement or state law enforcement should protect them okay am i, am I right the, or wrong on that what's the yeah. old the old adage those who give up liberty for safety deserve neither exactly yeah exactly I why, are you, to to be, why are you trying to be all why are you philosophical to be all, yeah philosophical. <laughs> no, that's true Man, I talk to people every day that think that the police are supposed to protect them. That mm -hmm. no, those no people that to. don't, those people that don't carry at all, don't have a weapon at all to protect themselves. Ask them, who's going to protect you? If okay. you can't protect yourself, who are you depending on? Yeah. To protect go ahead, Patrick. Okay. I, haven't, Patrick I, haven't said this in, I haven't said this in a while. It's been probably six months since I said this. Warren versus District of Columbia. If you want to see that the police have no duty to protect you, mm -hmm. go look up Warren versus District of Columbia. Yeah, Patrick. But also, Just didn't saying. that happen? Didn't that happen like a couple of weeks or a month ago, yeah. where in the Parkland case, they said that the, the, the cops had no duty to protect the students. Yeah, they right? had no duty to protect those kids. Yep. You because know, it's we have all these crazy ass laws, you know, <laughs> that restrict people's access to guns, but the police officers in Florida have no duty to protect you. Anytime, in, in nowhere this, in America. This is for anybody that's listening or tunes into this. 
If anybody ever tells you, oh, just, just why do you need a gun? Just have the cops protect you. Tell them Warren versus District of Columbia. Go look it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, two women yeah. were like raped and the cops had no duty to protect them. Yeah. Cops um, do not show up before the crime. Mm -mm. They show up They're there to clean up the mess. That's yeah. it. They're there, to, yeah. they're there to scrape the bodies off the ground. It's and to find out who did the crime and then- And, and try to track them down. Yep, they're yeah. not there to protect you. So, I mean, and the thing here is obviously we're at nine. I don't want to push this further, but here's the thing. Okay. We, are, we are responsible for everything in America, not politicians. We abdicate our responsibility to them. And what we need to do is if they if they're not if they're not handling that to our satisfaction, we need to take it away from them and give it to someone else. But ultimately, it's on us. So the the people to blame is us because we're accepting it. We should stop accepting it. Stop voting for people. Stop putting them in that position. More of us need to run for office if we really believe this. Get in there. Get out. Change change the system. Try to make it better. It's ultimately on us. So. You yeah, know, it is. that's the thing. That's the thing that I have to say about uh, that. I thought. <laughs> yes. So um, I don't. I know we're after. We're over the nine o'clock hour. I don't know if you guys uh, are ready to wrap this up. I see American Gun Chick is in there. Shout out to her. I think this one needs to go for a. What yeah. up, B? What up, B? Yeah. B? Yeah, I think American Gun Chick says she has a music video that's premiering in fifteen minutes. Yeah, oh, God, she's uh, so. she's gonna be rapping, man. Yeah, oh, God. that's what I hear. Supposedly, I'm in there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> they sent me a link, man. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. So. Yeah. So shout, uh, yeah, American Gun Chick, shout we love you. All right, so let's uh let's wrap this up. Uh, Babyface, you want to go first? Tell yeah. the people how to get in touch with you, man. Uh, I don't post a lot on YouTube any longer. I, I, I might every now and then, but it's not going to be as active. Check out uh, Instagram, baby underscore face P. Go follow me there because it's basically guns and dogs. Well, one dog. You get pictures <laughs> of neck bone mixed with yeah. pictures super, of guns. And that is a like supermodel dog. Right he is a supermodel <laughs> dog. Yeah. Right. Neck bone. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so there you go. Check out Babyface P on Instagram. Anyone who's on Instagram, go check him out. Uh, you know, he's I, I I like what you're posting up there, man. I think you should still do YouTube. Very important. Keep turning out the YouTube videos. I, I just, it's so hard. YouTube's so hard. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it. It's too much for me. Instagram's easy because I can just take a picture of Buckshot and post it up and people love it. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> I'm a doer, not a filmer. <laughs> if I had somebody following me 24-7 filming the stupid shit that I got up to, yeah, that would okay. be great. But, I'll give you a tip. But, Just put a freaking GoPro on, on Buckshot's uh, head. Yeah. And yeah. Let him yeah. Around <laughs> follow me. <laughs> Just, right. you'll, you'll just watch him laying on the on the rug outside as yeah. I use the how much you want to bet that blows up man and then buckshot Probably. becomes famous and he Marley says we ball. should give him his own Instagram but I'm like no I want to get famous too not just buckshot <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay um, all right Rod Mills you want to tell the folks how to get in touch with you out there hey, uh, uh, guys do me a favor um, if you send me a friend request just send me a uh, uh, a message saying hey you uh, are <laughs> yeah, because man, I've been getting a lot of weirdos, uh, you know, yeah. sending me friend requests. And I'm like, nah, yeah. I'm not. And and what I don't want to do is I don't want to. Uh, yeah. delete if you, you if you want Rod Mills to friend request you, just go steal all of American Gun Chick's pictures off of her social media and pretend and, you're American Gun Chick. Catfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, put uh, conk penis pictures <laughs> up there. <laughs> It'll be all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah the by guy, the way uh, go ahead go ahead no 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 go ahead go ahead go ahead no i was gonna say uh she says um what is this uh great show thanks for being awesome when it comes to people calling girls gun bunnies hank so i don't know <laughs> Good bunnies. i don't know was i awesome on that i have no idea what i say by the way i say lots of shit so but that's me anyone who knows me that's you know i say what's on my mind particularly at the moment Oh, so boy. we'll see how that goes out. Okay, so Rod Mills, uh, finish okay, up on yeah. how people can get in touch with you. Uh, you can get in touch with me on uh, Facebook at Rod Mills. Um, you'll see a picture of me holding a, uh, uh, um, my AR-15. So uh, you'll see, you'll know who I am. Yes. And But if you do send me a request of that and I don't know you, just send me an um, instant message saying, yeah. hey, uh, I saw you on Hank's show, wanted to send your friend request. Yeah, and just I, try, to I, yeah. try to be weird. Yeah. Say, <laughs> try to be weird. Say, try to say, you know, I saw your, I saw your cock hat on Hank's show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and, and, and if you guys want to, um, uh, I'm on, I'm actually on Instagram, but with Instagram, I'm, I'm sorry, not Instagram, uh, Twitter. 
I'm not on Instagram, but if uh, if you find me on Twitter, a lot of times what I'm doing on there is uh, because I work for the NFL. A lot of what I'm doing on there is uh, sports related, you know. So you know, you know, I'm at the real Rod Mills on Twitter. Okay. Okay. The real Rod. The real Rod. Check the it out. The real Rod. <laughs> if you got uh, also, if you guys know anybody in the Northeast Florida area in Jacksonville, Florida, that uh, is a beginning shooter that needs to get trained up. Uh, Scorch Earth Firearms Training is my company, and um, I'm actually on Facebook for that as well. You can look at my page on there. Scorch okay. Earth Firearms Training. Okay, cool. And then tomorrow we have on Babyface is supposed to be here, but oh, it's no, not I'm not. night. Uh, uh, <laughs> we, we have, have game on, night. Yeah, what, what is it? We have on the guy from um, I'm forgetting his uh, name. Corey, now. I believe his name is. Yeah. Is that it? For Microtech, um, yeah. Corey Microtech. from Microtech is going to be here tomorrow. So it'll be a knife show going on here tomorrow. Um, yeah, I get a. Except I don't have a Microtech. Babyface, so. yeah, Babyface was supposed to come on because he's got all the Microtechs. Hey, man, you guys scheduled him on a Thursday, which you know is board game night. Because he's available. On th okay, whatever. <laughs> let's, let's have this argument not in front of the kids. <laughs> No, anyway, it's cool. So I'll be here. Walter will be here, and Corey will be here from Microtech. Uh, got we've got a, a lot of stuff, cool stuff. I got coming two on, Microtechs so. that I need to deliver to you, so you can pretend like you have a real knife tomorrow. Yes, yes. So we, so we, don't, we're not embarrassed. Yeah. So thanks to everyone for being here. We'll see you guys. We're out of here. Thanks, Rod. We appreciate Peace. it. Thanks, Patrick. 